the recording button and now we are recording and let's get rid of this overlay and hey I'm slightly out of focus wouldn't be a streaming session if I were in focus all right cool hello everyone welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex I am Alex and today I am joined by my three co-hosts not two so let's uh let's start with Luke hello hello Corey what's up and now better than those last two evie oh yay hi everybody the new star of the show um yeah yeah so do you rampant feminism that's right. just that's not even so feminism notes. that's like uh uh uh, uh word for a female cause <laughs> Uh, it's the female version of a patriarchy. Uh, femarchy? That's Matriarchy. not right. Matriarchy. Jesus Christ. Oh, femarchy. look at me go. Look at this guy. See, I'm already better than the rest of you. <laughs> I I studied anthropology, sociology, and history in college. Fat, what a good that did me. Um, <laughs> so, Corey and Luke, what do you remember about last time? I threw uh, a kick-ass concert mixing dashboard, dashboard confessional like acoustic rhythms with uh blaring dance edm and uh <laughs> the robots that we found out that they're robots of this planet really enjoyed it and then i was freaked out that they were robots and then we heard a scream mm -hmm. that we are running toward i'm excited caspar looks concerned <laughs> <laughs> i i think that's a very reasonable reaction on his part I am looking for simple tokens. All I want for you are like tiny little colored squares to indicate where you are, but I don't have those. So let's go into my library. I should have pulled out assets for you before. Um, go into these shitty soldiers. Hell yeah. Um, if you had to pick a color between red, white, blue, and black, Luke, what would you pick? Um, probably blue. I don't think black will show up very well on this map. No, no, it won't. Excellent. Um, let's give you this excellent rocket launcher guy. He's tiny. If you don't see him, look where the private hollow VR suites are and guest services. I'm going to set that as you. Um, Corey, how about you? Give me a color. Uh, white. White. That, just, that feels wrong to say, I know. Look at this. How dare you? Oh, wow. This this guy had, like, nothing but white on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? God damn it. Uh, this is why we need to make you actual characters that look like your characters. So you two are rounding this corner down here. We'll double click on this. Well, that's good. I'm white, but I'm black, so it's fine. This represents Little John. <laughs> Save changes. This represents... Uh, bu 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 Caspar, show nameplate, please. All right, now Caspar has a nameplate. Little John has a nameplate. Fucking oh, there they sweet. Are. Yeah, they're teeny, aren't they? I was um, gonna say, like this map is so big, and I just found them. Yeah, that's that's why I wanted to throw them down. And then Evie, give me give me a color you like. I get to be red because that's right. what I wanted to be. So I'm really glad you guys didn't pick that color. Yeah, I picked white because I knew you'd want red. <laughs> I think Aww, that red is so well. red is objectively the best choice. So I'm surprised nobody else went for that. Uh, here you get briefcase, dude, and we're gonna put you over in the main <laughs> lobby. <laughs> we'll, we'll come dude, up with better stuff course. later. Um, Way to undo the good you did earlier. <laughs> there, right. there are I surprisingly. I still have no idea where we are. If you look at guest services, so go in north, like the middle west. Of the map. We're by robot rentals. So what, like citizen rentals? I'm, I don't know. Ah, yeah. Guest services. Okay. So if you select, look at where uh, I'm pinging. Okay. Look at this. Sorry. This ping is supposed to be it. massive, but it's so tiny. Oh uh, god. Well, it's still more helpful because <laughs> at least it moves. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. Oh god. So, um, to ping, you can just click and hold if you all would like to try that out. So if you're trying to talk I about do. where something <gasps> is or what the fuck oh, is this thing, you can ping. It red. Yeah. I'm going to make my color more analogous to the color. Of course. Yep. Now and Luke I just changed his color. Where I'm at. Oh, I found me. Never mind. Oh. 
So you all should have control of your little dudes, right? You can move those around? I can, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right on. So, um, yeah, last time we cut to you two exiting from where you thought was backstage of a stage, you were really in a hollow VR suite, so all of that was just a... <laughs> like a hollow deck kind of thing. So you are exiting from there to the sound of a scream excitedly but we're not going to focus on that uh at first we are instead going to cut to olivia in your <coughs> hotel room um the hotel is the ceiling and one of the walls are just glass through the glass you can just see open ocean you're very deep down so it's dark you can see the glittering of bioluminescent fish off in the distance there's you know the uh light pollution from this large hotel that you're in kind of glaring up uh, occasionally like spotlights and stuff like that will shine in the darkness but for the most part it's just kind of black blacker than any night sky and i um <clears throat> i want you to start out by going to your character sheet yes and going into the character sheet section click on the die next to mental save Okay. Metal save. Bad. Ooh, made a noise. Real bad. Um, you rolled a two, which is the worst oh. that you can roll? No, not the worst that you can roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's damn close, though. So Naturally, the first <clears throat> thing I do is fail. <laughs> you, um, you see an advertisement on your... Uh, on the wall, probably, actually, because there's just advertisements everywhere. It's just like a little pop-up saying like, oh, hey, there's a new artist visiting the hotel. Would you like to book a, uh, a ticket for their show? And you see, uh, Corey, describe Little John for us. What's he wearing? What's he looking like right now? Uh, he, is, he is short, though proportional. Uh, he, looks, he looks fit, kind of like a Tolkien elf just shrunk down. Uh, he's adorable more than he is good looking, but there's definitely a charisma about him. Uh, he's got short, well-styled blonde hair, and he's wearing his, uh, dark blue with gold embroidery duster that he usually wears. <clears throat> um, probably would have my loot on my back or in my hands if it's an advertisement for what I think it is. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and a, I don't think I would have my gun. I think, I think we were hiding that because it's also as big as I am. So yeah, it it's probably like on the floor behind the DJ booth, or like just hidden slightly out of view. And then um, in in the corner, probably behind you, looking like it's supposed to be your backup band member or bodyguard or something. We'll see like Caspar with his arms crossed, looking off frame. What does what does Kaspar look like? Uh, so Kaspar is um, obviously much taller than Little John. Um, I think. What is, is, Little John was um, a halfling in his previous life, or correct? Okay, yes. So taller, um, <laughs> sort of uh, olive, olive skin, curly black hair. Um, He's wearing a. Uh, um, he's still wearing the, the security guard or the security uniform from the station. Mm -hmm. um, so this is just like a gray pants and jackets, maybe with uh, piping on the sides of the, the pants, um, and uh, just a black T-shirt underneath. It's very nondescript and uh, like military esque, but not exactly like. It's not, it's not like battle dress uniform, but it's. Like official police officer. Yeah, it's, it looks very official. It's a very yeah. weird band poster. Very weird. <laughs> <laughs> so what what is Olivia looking like when she's in her room by herself? It's This is a large hotel room. Like, there's a separate kitchen, separate bathroom, separate bedroom, separate tiny little living room. Like, you're renting a big apartment, basically. Cool. And it's all glass, and okay. it's all underwater. Okay. 
Um, if I'm hanging out in my room, probably just hanging out in, like, chill clothes. Um, Olivia is, you know, medium height. She has kind of longer auburn hair, um, green eyes. She's very pretty. Um, yeah, she probably, if she's in her room, she's probably not wearing anything, like, super descript. So... Yeah, I mean, why I would know. you? I like to think that she's probably getting ready to go downstairs. I don't know. She might be wearing a bathrobe. With, yeah. Yeah, that know, makes PJs sense. under it. <laughs> totally. Yeah. I mean, you're on vacation, so. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, you see this uh, this advertisement, and for a moment, you get this, like, uh, deja vu feeling. Like, um, mm -hmm. you've been here in a dream, or you've seen this in a dream, or, like, Oh, this reminds me of that one time. No, I don't remember anymore. But like this distinct feeling that it reminds you of something, but then it right. fades very quickly. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> how would that make you feel? Would you just like try to brush that off, or would you focus on that? No, I feel like I'm gonna focus on it because it's like I've already been having some issues with my memories as of late, and now I feel like there is this person that I see that I don't really have any memories of, but at the same time I do. That's very concerning to me. Yeah. So I feel like I'm gonna probably focus on it and obsess about it a little bit. Fair. Um, is your like staring at this advertisement on the wall, and it's just like a pop up. You can hand swipe it away or close it or whatever pretty much every surface in a fancy building will be like a computer monitor so ads mm -hmm. will pop up or um maps or whatever will just pop up as you need them it's nice to be in a high uh high tech society and not on a spaceship anymore um so we'll we'll be focusing on your gaze on this person and then we'll pan in the camera really tight onto little john's face and then his face will be more animated and the camera snaps back out to him running around a corner with this giant gun in his arms. Uh, Corey, you want to tell us about your plasma projector? Um, I would love to, but I've never used it. Yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, it's big and it looks fun. <laughs> Uh, perfect, perfect description. If, if I'm three, if if I'm three and a half feet tall, this thing is easily like three feet long. So it seems like I maybe shouldn't even be able to carry it, and uh, it looks like it fires something pretty big out of it. Not like uh like an automatic kind of weapon, but like a build up and go hard kind of kind of weapon. <laughs> All right. It fits my personality. Yeah. Um, About so, three feet tall, and it's uh, explosive. You've you've heard a a scream from a kid, a child, a young woman, uh, a little girl, something from around the corner. Uh, you were backstage. Uh, halfling male. Yeah, halfling male. <laughs> yeah. So you you burst out around the corner. Uh, the noise is coming from here ish. I did not see here ish. It's up by the but private it's... hollow VR yeah. suites oh, right see. next okay, to them. Now yeah. I, do. Just now, I don't it. have hmm. a gun. No. Was I able to rig anything into some sort of weapon? Or um not? it's pretty short notice. I don't think so. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I I do not believe so. So I, I just have, like, basically nothing. Yeah, you got you got what God gave you. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, so I will heroically take the lead on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to find and remember where. I don't know how much I can move. Um, That is an excellent question. So to find that, we'll just go down to the appendix here and find where it says M. These are the backers. Oh, God damn you, Patreon. Uh, index M. Move. Move. Move action. 48. Go to page 48. Combat. Move action. Move action. Running up to 10 meters. So each of these squares is one meter.
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the corner, get kind of into the room a little bit, and mm -hmm. see if I can see anything from the area. Yeah, um, you know, right in this area where you pinged and where I've been pinging, you'll come across, and it's just like really turn around the corner, run for a short distance, or sprint for a short distance, and you're there type deal. There's a of give me you don't need to make a perception whatever on this there's a a young woman um a girl it's kind of hard to tell the difference sometimes she's a teenager prepubescent maybe right along the line she has like uh mascara running down her face she has uh dark tan skin her hair is up in a ponytail she's wearing pretty loose fitting hoodie with like a band t-shirt on underneath and like tight jeans and she seems to be arguing with two adults both of them are definitely adults both of them are taller than you there's a man and a woman and she's screaming like no get off of me and the other two individuals are trying to like quiet her down or calm her down or shush her okay so i'm going to uh drop the tip of my rifle toward the floor mm -hmm. in a kind of not as threatening but still very much like uh it's close yeah to being you know sighted kind of motion and in just my biggest stage voice like <clears throat> excuse me good sir and madam The, uh... Uh, the... Woman, uh, she looks a lot like the, uh, the young woman. Just a older, taller version. Um, you know, not an exact one-to-one, -one, but she could easily be her mother or older sister, much older sister. She'll okay. look to you and um, give me you you. There must be some role for this. Uh, give me a role of a variety belonging to notice. Give me a notice role. <laughs> good. That is a good we notice. Uh, she's definitely packing heat. Um, both of the adults are anyway, but that's not that weird. You're packing heat, and Casper typically is. Uh, she looks like she has a laser pistol on her or something. She doesn't immediately go for the gun, but she looks at you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, she's, um, and she looks embarrassed and flustered. She's flushing... She's got M-E-S, and it's it's starting to show a little bit. Okay, do I get the sense that she's genuine? I'm pretty good with people on that way. Um, would that be a notice role? That wouldn't be an administer. Maybe connect, probably not. Not exert, not fix, not heal, when not know. work, I guess. Yeah, I, uh, I hate, uh, I I still hate think, work. I feel like that's... That's another, it's either notice or another form of talk because I'm good at lying and persuading and charisming my way out of things. Chris, I would be able to Chris check. Mabang. I know when someone else is doing it a little better than yeah, others. So. I, I've just never, we've never had to see if someone is lying before. Well, maybe we have. Um, There's, there could be an argument. It is notice. It's notice. Um, Notice, spot anomalies or interesting facts about your environment, roll it for searching places, detecting ambushes, spotting things, and reading the emotional state of other people. Oh, yeah. Um, with an eight? Well, I don't know. That's a, that's a fantastic question. Two, six, plus... Plus anything? Uh, let's just uh, grab this. No, no, not plus anything. I, I remember this. She's not lying. Um, the she she's, seems to be telling the truth. Uh, is Caspar behind me yet, or is he still around the corner? I, that's um, up to him. Uh, yes, I'll I'll come up behind him, sort of uh, like right here. So I'm behind him, but still like 
making sure we have the hallway covered, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah not sense. like hiding behind him, but um, yeah. So okay, so I will uh, go ahead and set my rifle down completely. Well, not completely. I may still have a hand on it, but I'm going to more lean on it than have it combat ready. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll say uh, my apologies, ma'am. Uh, we heard the noise, and I have something of a heroic instinct. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure everything is well. Uh, the, the kid is like, uh, once you start going to put down your gun, um, yelling like, no, don't, they're not my parents. These things are not my parents. All right, what's my notice on that? Um, I mean, you still got an eight. Um, well, I, I mean, she, she's frantic. Um, she is telling the truth, but also her mom just told you that she's, Getting MES and part of getting MES is possibly hallucinating, possibly going crazy, okay, or the kid could MES? be right. Psychic. I'm not, I'm not meta sure. I know that. being psychic. It's meta extra dimensional syndrome. Being psychic is a disease. It's a condition. It's a mental physical condition. If it goes untreated, you hallucinate, you go crazy, you go sadistically insane and start fucking with people and destroying things and just go absolutely mad. If untreated at the onset, it typically results in people getting paranoia, hearing voices, uh, a lot of symptoms that we would relate to, you know, hallucinatory disorders nowadays. Okay, okay. Uh, time of day, where are we at? Uh, I just played a concert, so it's probably... I mean, it's it's always night under the ocean. Um, <laughs> that's... Roll for it. Uh, do or no, 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 not two d twenty four. It's like real early in the morning, apparently. Okay, so my concert went really late into the night. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, I just needed to know for context. Um, all right, little one. How about this? Since I startled all of you, how would you like to go to breakfast with a celebrity? It's on me. We'll sit. We'll eat. Get to know each other. Settle this out. The the dad um listen, our daughter is just started developing MES. We need to get her to the uh, the medical facility here, find her a doctor. Hopefully this fucking hotel has a half decent doctor. We need her to get medicated. I, this is urgent. I, I appreciate the offer, but I mean, she just caused more of a scene. And he has her, he has her arm like in a very tight grip. Okay, well, how about this? I'll escort you to the med bay in case she screams like that again and someone comes around the corner a little less carefully than we did. I would hate for something to happen. If she gets treated, she'll be fine. So that's the least we can do. Uh, I'll, throw, I'll throw my talk skill in there for persuasion if I yeah, have to. I'm, yeah, that's a great I'm looking, idea. I'm trying to make myself look tough, but really just genuine and nice. Yeah, true. Childlike. Give me, give me some talking. Talk, talk to me. Talk at me. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say like this is difficulty seven or eight. This isn't gonna be hard. And then you roll a thirteen. Oh, I've been uh, it I'm getting my uh, space boots. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not not hard. Uh, the dad is like, hell yeah, is his like uh, body language response like, yeah, uh, more help would be really appreciated. She's stronger than she looks and. Uh, you're you're right. We are causing a scene. Maybe you could call security too on her way there. I'm a little tied up. Caspar, that's your rap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go get them. Cool. So Caspar, you're gonna be wanting to cut through the lobby and go all the way to the left side of the lobby, all the way over there. You will see hotel security. That's and where. You said what time of day is it? It's like six in the morning. <laughs> 
five or six in the morning. But time doesn't really matter because you're in an in a perpetual nightclub at the bottom of the ocean. Right. So you you think it's hard to you know go home in Vegas? Imagine if the sun never set or rose in Vegas. It's always nighttime here. <laughs> it is always party time, and the medical bay, because we're just seeing this map for the first time is also through the lobby it will be to the southern end of the lobby so it's not a long walk at all the um the girl is going to continue to frantically say like no don't these aren't my parents you don't know what you're talking about like i don't need and i'm staying to go alert. with them yeah um she, you know what? Fuck it. She's she's a she's a fighter. Uh, I need to check something real quick, and I have to do it off screen. So let's see. He is this kind of a psychic, <laughs> and she's untrained. So anything I do is gonna require exertion. But. Let's give it a fucking shot. Uh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. No, there's no way a little kid could do this. Um, nah, nah, nah. She's not going to get a bonus to this. All right, she got a 10. That's pretty good, kid. Um, yeah. I don't think we need you cheering her on. This <laughs> is she's just a kid and I'm trying to see if she can roll against, you know, wrestling an adult. No, she uh that's a tie, so with help which he is getting you'll be able to move her down to the medical facility without any issue. And you can just move her on down there or move yourselves on down there if you would like. You can just cut down to there. Is that... I'll chill in the waiting area. There's right. some. Uh, should I move my token to the security? Yeah. Office? Yeah. If you would like. You yeah, split off in the here. main lobby with them, going to the security office, and in the security office, you're granted, granted, greeted with just like, once you walk into. Ping it? No, don't I'm ping it. That's the... Yeah, that's the door. Um, in this area if you go in and round the corner there's nothing but like bays of the activated robots and like an automated uh greeting like hello how can we help you today <laughs> um uh this is gonna be like an automated menu isn't it <laughs> you damn right luke <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, the most effective type of police force. <laughs> Automated menus. Oh, is this by chance where they keep the weapons that they're holding for people? Uh, are you asking aloud, or are you asking me? I'm asking you if I would, if if this would be that place. No. Um, there's a a little locker room right next to the entry into the casino and club where there's a weapons claim station where people can deposit or withdraw their weapons you'd be able to get it from up there but that's okay, so right. up north of guest services so you ran in the opposite direction there is an armory down here <laughs> but that armory is definitely uh not not for general public right um let's see Jeez, I guess I'll... There's, like, a terminal to, like, report things or whatever? Totally, yeah. Um... I'll start playing with it. Mm -hmm. uh, are there, like, menu options or... Uh, is input? It, it's probably, like, um, input complaint form, so you can type in whatever or you can just speak aloud to the system or there's probably drop down autofill options it, it can be it can work however you like it to work in this case 
<laughs> All right. Um, so I guess I'll I'll report uh, medical emergency or general distress. Mm -hmm. if that's a thing. Yeah. Um, um, I think as you're as you're reporting it in, like saying like we found this girl here with her parents, and there seems to be some sort of medical emergency. And um, the the automated response that comes back will be like, oh, I didn't come up with the last name for her. Uh, there we go. Amelia Hudson in care of um, Kudro and Angela Hudson headed en route to the medical bay. Yeah, um, while I'm here, is there... Can I, like, look through the menus to see if I can, um, access one of the weapons? Because I'm sure they're, lo like, locked up behind something. It's very locked. Um, I mean, you could try to do security on that lock, try to pick it, or go through it somehow that would probably be program i'd be definitely program I, yeah i'm not the best at but no. i i think i'll give it a shot uh, yeah all right all right <laughs> get all right. your ass arrested so. real quick you're in the police office picking a lock into the armory assuming that all right yeah yeah okay <laughs> you're gonna have to roll real well here uh Program is intelligence, right? Yes. Yes, it definitely it's is. Also, it's also kind of my shindig, so... <laughs> you get the wrong person doing this. Alright. Here goes nothing. Okay, no. Uh, I was gonna say, this okay. is probably, like, difficulty 10. Um, with the 5, you'll get, like, an automated response. Please do not tamper with hotel security property. <laughs> Please do not tamper with hotel security property. Any furthering tampering will be prosecuted. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'll stop tampering with it. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a try, I guess. I tried. Yeah. Um, I yeah, I'll head back towards the. Uh... I'm gonna go pick up my my guns. Yeah, or, yeah, do yeah. that. I think that's what I'm going to do now. You're going to have a walk up there to get your gun. So, um, yeah, little John, the um, parents were able to escort their daughter into one of the clinical offices down here. And you're waiting in the waiting area for, for what? I'm waiting because once they're in the hands of officials, mm -hmm. I'm sure that... Uh, in, in no more than an hour if this is shady they're gonna know that these people aren't related so i'm kind of just waiting to make sure nothing crazy happens that the little girl doesn't need me okay all right olivia what are you up to for the next hour um i'm checking out the internal hollow map i'm gonna guess that's a map of the hotel that's exactly what you're seeing on row 20 oh. yep except cool. it's cooler and you're in three dimensions and you get to spin it around with your hands there are maybe circles <laughs> they're rounded surfaces yeah <laughs> it looks like it's a bubble underwater structure instead of a bunch of small boxes yeah okay <laughs> um i might see if i can get a little bit more information on this concert that's going on oh totally and like as soon as you start say if you say the word concert aloud your PDA will just start popping up with advertisements. Uh, you've been here a week, right? A few days, yeah. yeah. Like, not quite a week, but... You've, you've picked up by now that if you even are talking to yourself, even in the privacy of your own room, or are having a conversation with someone, that the hotel is listening and will, like, give you ads specifically targeted to what you're talking about, like... Oh, I really miss, like, this one thing back home. And it's like, 
you know, you can try out our holodecks. We have a specially programmed adventure featuring this planet or this time period. I or have like, very mixed feelings about this. I, I can really go for this type of food, and it's like, okay, that'll cost you 200 credits. Um, hello? Okay, I'm sorry, you cut out really badly there for a second. Oh, great, wonderful. Um, yeah, it, it, it basically just specializes and stylizes advertisements based contextually on what you're talking about. So when you... Uh, we lost you there for like yeah. a solid 15 seconds, actually. Really? I... Are you hearing me now? Hmm. I am hearing you. You are not hearing... Hmm. Uh, uh-oh. Red alert. Beep. Boop. No. <laughs> Beep. Boop. You're laughing at the beep boop. Can you hear yes. me at all? All right. Oh, I can now. Okay, yeah. That's just Discord being shitty. That's not my internet or anything else. Yeah, voice connected. Stay green. Discord, stay green. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Uh... My bitrate just went to hell. Cora <laughs> might be uploading something. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, you can hear me fine. Yeah. I can uh, now, maybe. Maybe. Right. I can hear everyone. If so that helps. I can hear everyone, but Alex. But now I can hear Alex fine. So actually, I can really hear everybody. Luke, right Luke have you been able to hear me this entire time, and they haven't, or is it just? No, uh, you did cut out a couple times. <clears throat> Damn it. All right, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, the ads are all targeted ads, and it's definitely okay. contextual and based on what you're doing and listening to and all that jazz. Okay. Um, all right, I might go to the information desk, actually. <laughs> the information desk Please. is... Again, completely automated. You found that damn near everything in here is bereft of people. Uh, there he goes up. again. I know. What the fuck? <clears throat> I heard that the information desk is automated. Just like everything else here? Okay. Yeah. Huh. Weird. Um, My yeah, ISP is normally gonna great. I'm going to look and see... Uh, I don't know if I can get, like, tickets to this concert or, like, what... What all I have to do... Very curious about this little John character. Hmm. Well, okay. I have no idea why we're being so terrible today. Give me up. Uh, the, yeah, starts without numbers. Ominous music has stopped. Yeah, well, that was yeah. me stopping it. That was me <laughs> stopping it because I wanted to make sure that's working. It's weird. I'm not getting any lag on anything except for the stream is up and down, up and down, and terrible. And Discord is fine. And my down speed is fine. And my up speed is the thing that matters. So let's show me my up speed. Why is my up speed bad today? Go speed test go. Uh, Evie, I swear this never happens. Oh uh, yeah, this is That's abysmal. I'm here. Yeah, I'm my... the bane of technology. Hello, everybody. Are Are you like a Dresden uh, Files type type wizard? Uh -huh. Maybe Corey could probably answer that better than I could. What was the question? Sorry. Is, is she like a Dresden Files type wizard, where technology just doesn't like, doesn't work? Oh. I feel like that would life. make a lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little like it's it's hardly noticeable <laughs> it's just tiny things he she doesn't like blow out light bulbs or anything it's just <laughs> your computer will get slower and your internet will not quite connect <laughs> so maybe she's like an apprentice or something actually the light bulb thing has happened on quite a few occasions <laughs> so i'm not gonna lie Okay, well, I can't figure out what the fuck is happening. My down or my up speed is just half of what it normally is. So, my ISP seems to be having some trouble today. <laughs> I stream what? fine. ISP is having trouble. Well, you know, Luke, I've been very lucky. 
until today. <laughs> Streaming like four to eight hours every day with no trouble. But whatever. Um, all the ads are contextual. You found out in your time here that there are very few people operating anything owned by the hotel. The only people here are guests. So there's no hotel staff anywhere. Okay. What kind of stuff are you looking for at the information desk? Um, I want to see if I can find out anything else about this little John dude. Um, he's freaking me out and so working up some anxiety. He is a artist from Out of System. I think he goes by the Extra Dimensional Anomaly. Is that is that your band Correct. name? Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's your little musical alias. He uh, has a unexpected concert here. He's working with local artists and although they haven't exactly pinned down when his show is supposed to start, everyone is really excited about it. Okay. So I'm gonna get tickets to this. I mean, if there are tickets, I don't know if that's how this works. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's are. it's mostly... So <laughs> it's an RSVP type thing, like it's included in the cost of your stay, so yeah, you can just pick those oh. up. All inclusive. Check me out. Okay, I'm <laughs> RSVPing to this. Word. Um, Kasvar, you went to go pick up your guns, yeah? Yes. So you should be up here at the weapon claim station. So north of yeah. guest services. Yeah. yeah. And Bloop. just like with how you deposited your weapons in the first place, it recognizes you upon walking up. It's an ATM. Basically, it's an ATM that's like, oh, hi, would you like to deposit or withdraw your weapons today? And it's it's all just like a text-based interface. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get my weapons out of, uh, out of this gun ATM. Uh, yeah, that's essentially what it is. All right, well, that's going to be 500 credits. So we'll just open up you may notice in the journal section that i have added a handout that everyone can see titled the fts yes. tourist crew fund and this is how i'll be keeping track of how much money you have i saw that so i just <laughs> removed 500 credits so now you can reference how much money you have remaining collect that out olivia we're rich <laughs> It should be concerning that the second 500,000 is in air quotes, but, you know, it's, it's fine. <laughs> you, you know, we, we, uh, it's, it, having cash on hand is different from having, like, a, a net worth. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, and we it's have all... lots of non-liquid assets. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. So it's. It's potentially worth 500 grand if you find two people as gullible and bad at inspecting goods as you are, but um, <laughs> it might even be worth more. Who knows if you go to a backwater world and trade it for some gold or something. Uh, yes, but you, you have your gun back. All right. Now I will head back towards uh, the medical services. Ooh. Where they were heading. Um, yeah, to, Corey. Like, link back up with them. How long are you gonna wait here? You said an hour. An hour ticks uh, by. There are no people. For real. Uh, I'm gonna take out my mobile and call Caspar. Uh, he's probably down there with you by now. And okay. Like, if he's not he's... there within the hour, I'm gonna do different stuff. Cause I didn't expect him to be gone very long. So, okay, if he's with me, then as the hour ticks by, I'll probably look over at him and be, and, and I'll say, um, seems like they're probably all right, right? Uh, do I have any experience with, um, what is it, Meta, M MS, MS? It's such -E a stupid acronym, -E isn't it? Yes. It's Meta <laughs> Extra Dimension Owl Syndrome. M-E-S. Um, Meta Extra Dimensional Syndrome. Psychics is perfectly fine. I think that, uh... <laughs> oh, what is the author's name here? Kevin Crawford is just sadistic when it comes to acronyms and fluff. <laughs> he's, he's a good guy, but M-E-S is... Yeah, it sounds cool. Um, I, I don't 
think you have much of a working understanding. Um, uh, uh, roll me a no roll, actually. Ooh. Yeah, like, why should I tell you what you know or do not know? You should roll and show me. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, you're pretty hazy on the topic. You know that they need to be treated and quickly, but you're pretty sure that uh, the psychics you've worked with in the past, their treatment just consists of like taking a daily pill. Yeah, so it's not like any kind of invasive procedure or anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is taking a, a lot longer than uh, it usually has, to my knowledge. Well, I would really like to go ask about them, but we're not family, so how does that work? That's a good question. Um... Uh, if you're not sure, then I'm going to wing it. So I go up to <laughs> the front desk. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me, I, and I'm assuming, like it's, most things, I barely it's automated. Like, crest the top of the freaking desk. Yeah, you, you uh, crest the top of the desk, and there's no one behind it. Just automated. Um, requesting status of MES girl just came in here. <laughs> I have um, her name, right? Yeah, Amelia. I'll, I'll whisper that to him. <laughs> Amelia, Amelia Hudson. Hoodrow, right? Hudson. Hudson. Okay. Yeah, Hoodrow's close uh, enough. Requesting status of Amelia Hudson. Um, no, it'll it'll just. Uh, automated sounding voice will give you a response. Amelia Hudson is in the care of Hudrow and Angela Hudson and is undergoing therapy. I'm going to turn to Caspar. I've decided I don't like robots. <laughs> um, I'll say, yeah, that's about how long it took me to the first time. I decided I didn't like robots. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh, and we happen to be miles and miles underwater <laughs> in a complex full of them. This is nice. Well, I would tell you we could leave, but I have to put on one more concert and I have to make sure this girl's okay. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine, I say. Um nervously checking my rifle do i notice him nervously checking his rifle uh, do you try to hide that you're doing it i feel like it's pretty obvious you two have been together for no, about a I, month i don't think no it, it's not like a inspection or anything I'll, I'll just like like as a nervous tick <laughs> miss miss your weapon did you <laughs> <laughs> well not that it'll do much good if uh something happens down here but yeah oh i'm comforting. sure the glass is safe if it broke every time somebody shot off an errant pistol shot everyone would be dead already <laughs> right all of the hotel staff and then they would probably be replaced with robots so i have a concert in a little bit are you psyched <laughs> That's a word you could use, I suppose. I'm going to go ahead and wait here for a little bit longer. Um, I imagine I'll probably have to sleep. I, when's How far f from now is my am I headlining? It's still unscheduled, right? Like, it asked if you wanted to, but uh, the first night was just, like, you training, but... Uh, I'll go ahead and pull out my mobile, and I'll schedule it for tonight. Okay. Okay, so you have an arbitrary amount of time until that happens. Uh, yeah, 12 I guess hours. Like 12, yeah. yeah, 12, 13 hours. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wait here for like... Mm, let's be honest, 45 minutes before I get max bored. <laughs> like, just way too bored. And then I'm going to go check out the gift shops after that. All right stay nearby but i can't feasibly say that little john sits in this room for more than that olivia um you seem to be visiting the spot what's what's happening down there i am 
Um, I'm gonna try and clear my head for a little bit because mm -hmm. this is really weirding me out. Um, do I get like a notification that he has scheduled the concert? Yeah, Did yeah. Um, Don update me or anything? Yeah. Um, it's it's not Don. Don has actually been uh pretty quiet. Don, your virtual assistant, little uh smart paperclip smart mm -hmm. microsoft office paperclip um <laughs> has been pretty quiet after you've gotten here um the station's virtual intelligence has been pretty belligerent in just overriding a lot of things and just talking over things so to speak mm -hmm. and so like before don could notify you the hotel is like oh hey that that uh show you were interested in is now scheduled and it has like a countdown timer and like fake hype comments from people who are excited about the the show and like uh maybe maybe even like uh, a slideshow of past concerts that little john has performed okay i'm gonna be going through the slideshow there's a uh, him in what seems to be a space applebee's packed to the brim with people <laughs> cheering for him him standing on the bar uh people like holding their drinks up and confetti flying everywhere also bubbles in front of it just oh. um there's god uh him in a hotel bar on what looks like a karaoke night and people again packed to the brim cheering exact same people exact same cheering animation exact same confetti and exact same bubbles and then there's a picture of him performing at the main stage at Hotel Borma, the place that you're at, with the exact same crowd cheering in the exact same way with the exact same confetti and the exact same bubbles. Rub it in more. <laughs> <laughs> Your fame is fake. <laughs> okay, interesting. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm gonna spend some time at the spa. Yeah, and I'm just gonna chill out. The spa might be one of the few places where there are people staff because some people, especially when it comes to like a full body massage or having their hair and nails done or getting a tattoo or meditating under guided meditation, yeah, they would be more comfortable with a you know skin and bones type person. So there might actually mm -hmm. be human staff in here. And okay. But not in the hot tubs. That is not staffed. That'd be real creepy if that were staffed. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Hello, That's welcome to our hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. So, so 45 minute comes and goes, and no one comes in or out of the clinical offices. Uh, okay, I'm concerned for sure. Uh, and I'm going to have this like super serious super concerned face mm -hmm. and it's almost like i'm doing it without noticing that i'm doing it i'm still on hero duty but i just slowly walk out of medical services still with my sense of purpose like i'm helping but i'm bored i have an idea uh what <laughs> um can you schedule like a a, pr a private um benefit concert like they do for for sick kids i could i could hop on my mobile and make my concert a private benefit i mean can you like can you schedule yeah can you do that can you make a concert for for kids maybe kids God with mes i i think i understand where you're going with this yeah we're on the same page absolutely i can uh, yeah did not see this coming uh, <laughs> god I'm not, damn it. i'm not sure how it'll help but i like i like it might get us thinking. in there well into the medical services well into oh, the place no. where she is <clears throat> how about this oh. i'm gonna schedule it as that and then in an hour we come back here and i have to go into the back to see her to shoot my promo yeah. Because how are we going to get people I mean, there if I'm not actively the idea is, working with these kids, right? The idea is to get access to figure out what's going on with her, right? 
on it. I, my mobile's out, my thumbs are blazing. This is an amazing plan. Okay, I'm down with this. This is a stupid plan, but I love it. Uh, <laughs> so, so we've been on for about an hour, technical difficulties aside. So let's have you... Man, what kind of a role would it be to make this happen? I mean, you can basically just style it however the fuck you want, so you may not even need to roll on this. For uh, this to work out. Where the hell is Lou John? I have him open. Um, connect? Maybe? Perform? I, I mean, I this like is an aspect of performing, right? <laughs> The work role? Well, you know, it, it's... I'm having it's to work. work for me, but it's... that's... It, this is what I do for work, but no. Yeah. No, it's not work. Let's see, perform um... is... Exhibit some performative skill, seeing don... Dance? Dance. Seeing, dance, orate, act, or otherwise put in a convincing or emotionally moving performance. Uh, connect, find people... Oh. I, I mean, I think you can just do it. I don't think you need to roll for this. <laughs> If I if I did need to roll, and I'll go ahead and describe like the way that I'm I'm gonna kind of change the description of my concert mm -hmm. to a benefit for children with MES and the struggles that they and their families go through, and I'll shoot a short little um, video mm -hmm. where I I act very concerned and say that uh my concert was all about myself and my fans but now that i've seen this terrible thing happening right in front of me uh i have no choice but to uh donate most of the proceeds and and proceeds. play this music for these families and these children mm -hmm. and i'll i'll put on the waterworks even like i'll have a little tear <laughs> and i'll i'll upload that all right so that so that if anyone searches the concert or wants to go to the concert, they will see this, like, kind of as an ad for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, so um, Olivia's going to get updated that it's now a benefit concert for people with meta-extra-dimensional syndrome. Here I am in the meditation room trying to forget that you exist, and I keep getting these stupid <laughs> pop-ups. Uh, impossible, madam. <laughs> I exist. Just... Believe me, I've tried. Where I've... is he shooting this video in his little ad that he has now updated us? And... It, it looks like like a waiting room somewhere. Like it's it's uh, not a very professional. Ba out, so oh, okay. I, I'd be in front of the structural hollow map. Oh yeah, the bathrooms by the gift shops. It's great. So it's just like him in front of a holographic representation of the hotel. Okay. I mean, just... you were you were there earlier, so you know yeah. where that is. Yeah. There's like a celebrity I'm... nearby. You might want to run. I know. I I'm, I don't really care that you're a celebrity, to be perfectly honest. But I am <laughs> curious about who the hell this person is. He's plaguing my my brain. And he's really spamming up your Facebook feed too. Yeah. I have that effect. This is getting really annoying, <laughs> actually. So okay, um, I'm gonna look around the lobby. Yeah. Uh, you're you're probably in the lobby, and from you know, across the way, you'll catch a glimpse of Little John taking more selfies. I imagine him trying to yeah make that post better, and I I think we'll we'll freeze on that and cut to commercial. And by commercial, I mean we're gonna take a five minute break because it's been an hour, so we can go get drinks or use a bathroom and do human stuff. But we will be back. <laughs> human in, things, I'm fellow humans. I'm gonna go do halfling stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm we. Still human, so it works out. Our...
unmute me and now I'm gonna unmute all of you and the stream overlay is gonna go away and we are back for hour two um yeah you two well little John would you recognize this person I would not um in my past life or my presumed past life she came along uh after I got sent through Mm, yeah after this version of me got set through so you you might recognize her as like one of the first people you've seen uh you might have seen like random people crossing the lobby from time to time but no one's like stopped or made eye contact the only real people you've been in contact with have been that kid and her parents and then <clears throat> they've been in that office a long time uh as far as like attire I know I look like a very fashionable person from the medieval era, um, so I kind of stand out for that reason. Does she stand out similarly? Because that I've... might catch my attention. What? How how fashionable are you, Olivia? What what you wearing? I would say I like to be pretty fashionable. Um, I'm not sure really like as long as i've been here i'm not really sure like what i would have the time to purchase i know my go-to outfit is a pair of jeans black tank top and um what is it sort of like a flannel over shirt yeah like button a button up yeah yeah that's that's perfectly fine i mean it's a the nightclub hotel you wear whatever the fuck you want um, yeah more in the nightclub section itself but you know whatever all right so no um nothing much about her other than that she's not <clears throat> that i can tell a robot but and i'm I probably would... so busy taking selfies that i barely even notice oh look <laughs> because a once person. i start it's kind of hard to get me to stop i didn't have selfies where i come from and this oh. is fascinating i can look at myself all the time it's great his, his phone gallery is just like different pictures of him in front of things kind of posing with things but just like making his face so big in the image that you can't really see what he's posing with because what i'm posing with isn't nearly as important it's it's all about um priority yeah yeah i hear you <laughs> i will probably be like kind of milling around trying to kind of check you out but in what i think is an inconspicuous manner <laughs> okay so i'm probably mostly oblivious but would uh would casper notice that i mean yeah what are you on the lookout for there's a person who's probably one of the closest people who have been to you the uh entire time you've been here and she seems to be i don't know make me make me a notice roll and see if you notice <laughs> Ugh. and i always forget this Is wisdom that intelligence or wisdom. wisdom 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 hey um olivia you're trying to try to hide the fact that you're looking right a little bit yeah yeah so go into your character sheet and roll me a sneak you've seen dexterity i guess that's what it always is isn't it yeah i think so well it's just it'll ask you for attribute input uh no she doesn't seem interested <laughs> <laughs> she's she's doing a very good job at not seeming interested she's just aloof Just kind of checking out maps, minding not my own business. <laughs> so, I have I have taken some selfies before, but I'm kind of also, with my sense of heroic duty, of course, mm -hmm. I'm trying to stay near the medical services, and this is entertaining me. So I'll do this for up to probably 20 minutes if Jesus Caspar doesn't Christ. stop me. That's such a long time. Uh, okay. Just different parts of the hollow map. Like, I'll just be going around the hollow map, taking different pictures, looking for the best ones, and I upload them to the page for my mm -hmm. concert and everything. So, Olivia, your, your PDA is to buzz, buzz, <laughs> buzz, 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 as he's updating really the image. Just 
Now I'm just starting to look really annoyed, and I'm probably not going to be sneaking around as much. I would say that I'm not. I'm. It's not buzz, 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 buzz. I might take a hundred selfies. I'm only going to upload two or three. Okay. okay. All right. It's not. It's not that. Have bad. you ever? <laughs> have you ever met an Instagram girl before? They don't post everything they take pictures of. I don't. I don't know, man. <laughs> that you refer to yourself as an Instagram girl. Well, uh, Lil John's experiencing new horizons. <laughs> Apparently, that's what he is. Kinda. I mean, I suppose one in Rome. <laughs> Take selfies as the Romans do. Let's do duck face, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, everyone is still there. I thought it cut out for a second. No, no. Um, okay. I'm going to work up the courage to say something. <clears throat> boop, boop, boop. Um, excuse me, not, not to interrupt your, um, <clears throat> selfie session? modeling and i sure. click take a picture click <laughs> take a picture whatever you want to call it um so you're you are little john correct or john is uh as she does says come up? as she says my name i'll finally look and then i see who's in front of me and i put my, and i put my phone away uh yes little john uh <clears throat> is 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 what i go by and who might you be? Um, Olivia is my name. Nice to meet you, and she'll give sort of an awkward little wave. Oh, don't wave. No, bring it in. Uh... I, I, go in <laughs> I go in for a... And I, and I, it's always nice to meet a fan. You came and met me out here while I was advertising for my show. That takes a lot of courage, and I appreciate it. She kind it's very of nice to meet you. And has a deer in headlights look. <laughs> um... Okay, nice to meet you too. This is gonna sound really weird, and I'm not really sure how else to put this. Um, how do I know you? Okay, so I slowly break into a gigantic grin. I give a sidelong, kind of annoyed glance at Caspar, and I go, I am quite famous. <laughs> uh, Caspar rolls his eyes. <clears throat> okay. Um, maybe this maybe this will help. I am High Captain Little John of the Luskin High Captains. Okay. Great give Worm me, Copper, leader give me of his flight. Another hero mental of the War of Tiamat. I, I just I go on and I list like <clears throat> a me, dozen titles. Give me another mental save. Okay. Um doo -doo -doo. A weird mental save. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, he's talking, his lips are moving, but you're not hearing anything. You've kind of gone into shock. Like you're doing a thousand yard stare at the wall behind him. You're just looking okay. right through him. And what's, what's just running through your head is you're kind of hearing a very echoey, underwatery version of what he's saying, but mm -hmm. you're starting to black out. Okay. So, if I'm blacking out, I suppose I'm going to just kind of collapse to the floor. Yeah, you got about another sentence in you before you do, though. If there's anything witty is you any want to of say that, on your like, way down. Has any of it registered with me, or is it just kind of like my brain is short-circuiting now? It's it's like a, a spyware detection program has detected something that it's supposed to seek out and kill. And so it's just shutting okay. down your brain rather than letting it through. Okay. I might kind of like step towards him for support and then just face plant. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> Caspar, look, I made a woman faint. <laughs> <laughs> she was so impressed with my deeds. Ugh. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. Oh, and then I, like, snap to, and I go to, like, check her medically. 
<laughs> um, yeah, there's a there's a skill for that, isn't there? Um, <laughs> Would that be fix? <laughs> fix? I Is there really program? not heal? It's robot? heal. It's heal. <laughs> for fuck's sake, it's heal. Is that fix? <laughs> is heal, uh, what is that, wisdom or intelligence? Intelligence. Good, because that's what I'm better at. <laughs> Fuck if you know, you're uh, not a I'm doctor. I'm not good at that. Yeah, you are not a doctor, <laughs> and this lady seems like she needs a doctor. Well, it's a good thing we're very near <laughs> the medical very close center. To medical ward. Oh, oh, I don't my trust God. this medical ward, though. Caspar, she needs attention. I don't trust this place. Um, She's not a robot, I can tell you that. I know at least- <laughs> Do I? Actually, that was a very abysmally bad role. <laughs> I mean, you- I think you're more concerned with, oh fuck, this lady needs help more than anything else. Well, and can Casper uh, take a look and see if he can, like, see, <laughs> see what he sees? Hell yeah, give me- give me- give it a shot. It can't- well, it could be worse than that, actually. Uh, heal, right? Yep. <laughs> And that's wisdom? <laughs> no, it's still intelligence. Oh, it's all, yeah, right, sorry. I, no, it's fine. It was not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not good. <laughs> you, you too are not a doctor. I think, I think, Casper, <laughs> your, uh, your field of expertise when it comes to patching people up is, like, bullet holes and knife wounds and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, battlefield She drama. just fell down. Uh, yeah, so, um... Uh, you know, uh, Little John, I, I think it's more the people that she was with that we should distrust than the, uh, medical robots. Are you sure? I mean, on a three, I'm almost, like, trying a fix roll and checking for circuit boards. It's like, <laughs> did I have this Now wrong? I'm Is starting to make person? you feel violated. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing it, he says that, and I look up. You're probably right. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, will you help me carry her then? Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Um, also, next time we're on the ship, please remind me to fashion some sort of holster for this behemoth of a laser gun <laughs> that I have, because this is going to be weird. <laughs> we're we're going to have to like put it in between her arms and lift her together. It looks I have like to put this massive gun. Looks like you're carrying her off to a space viking funeral or something with that massive gun on her. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you you two start carrying her into the uh, medical services area, and uh, on your way in the door, there's like two robots with a stretcher that almost run into you that were dispatched automatically to to go grab her, and upon running into you, they just kind of turn so that the gurney is you can just plop her down on the gurney grabbing my uh rifle obviously mm -hmm. before they take off with that as well yeah and then Good they it's not sick <laughs> they run through and run her I mean, into in a sense it is sick run her into this hospital room over here <clears throat> all right we're gonna go back in. Now everyone you've met in this place has ended up in the hospital. <laughs> I mean, the people kind of might start the... to wonder. <laughs> par for the course is exactly right, Caspar. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think that. Uh, I think Caspar that that this type of situation where everyone he has met has ended up in the hospital has happened on an op or two. Except the last time it was intentional. Yeah, I... Randomly fainting people and disappearing little girls. Uh, yeah, it's been like two or three hours since you saw the little girl go into... Uh, was eeny meeny money here? And you haven't seen her or her presumed parents come out. I'm still concerned <laughs> about that, but now I have a new thing in my halfling ADD is yeah uh, are you like running into the hospital room to see what's going up or not what, yet. what are you doing uh, I mean like unless Caspar runs in there immediately I feel uh, like I'd I stay out in the waiting area for a little bit I would probably 
follow just to see like what the robots are doing yeah if he follows i'll follow yeah i'll follow laying her down on a hospital bed getting her situated and attaching uh it looks like a goofy glass helmet to her head that seems to be doing some sort of scan so i assume like is there common like boring waiting room music oh definitely so yeah. I see I see us standing there looking in. I glance up at Caspar, arms folded, gun resting up against my shoulder. And I, I just go, hey, at least uh at least the glass isn't breaking. Um I I look around for uh, highlights for children. <laughs> 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 highlights for children? Or yeah, like yeah. the little magazines you find. In oh, oh room. my god. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. There's definitely those. Man, it's been a long time. One of those little toys that you move the bead. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> but it's the future, so it's all like uh, made out of some semi transparent material and it's all like hexagon somehow. Yeah. <laughs> the beads and the wire track are holograms. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, ba, 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 ba. How, how long should you be out? Really, if you're out for more than an hour, that's concerning. Let's roll <laughs> D120. You're out for like 40 minutes until you start to come to, Olivia. Okay. Uh, when you do, uh, you're staring up at a ceiling and you know there's little uh spots in your eyes from blacking out as you start coming to um you remember everything that happened the the whole blacking out part going to the floor now you're in a hospital bed is this has this happened to you before yeah. Not recently, I feel like, yeah, or I, ever, I, that I can remember, you know, quote-unquote. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't imagine. Yeah, this is weird and uncomfortable. There's no nurse in here, there's no doctor, there's just, like, the beeping of some automated things. You have a weird helmet on. I'm gonna try and take the helmet off, like... Is, is you do that... There's some angry beeping, but it does come off. Okay, I'm gonna let it beep angrily come at me. It's um, making the sound of, like, medical hardware that's been disconnected inappropriately. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. Um, if no one's coming into the room, I'm getting up. Am I hook up, hooked up to anything else, or can mm -mm. I just, like, get up? No, no, okay, I'd be... Gonna get up and just walk out then doors locked oh <laughs> never mind uh jiggle the handle locked Start um pounding on the door so gaspar okay. little john yeah, you will, you hear that yeah i'll start running over to the door to let her out because it's I'm locked to this place <laughs> it's locked yeah is is there like um security panel like a, it's an electronically controlled door. Yeah, almost definitely. I'm gonna tamper with it. <laughs> <laughs> if All I right. put the helmet back on, does it stop beeping? I mean, it resumes normal beeping. Okay. It's Do, less am I angry. Getting, like any sensors, or is it just kind of like? Yeah, the right, uh, there's there's a display like at the head of your bed that gives an indication of like what the error code is, and it's like uh, subject has removed scanning equipment before a full consciousness scan could be completed before a full copy could be made subject has mes errors detected in regions one two three and four that seems like a lot of regions out of how many regions is this counting there are errors in <laughs> how many how many regions are there in your brain uh regions of the brain uh or frontal parietal, temporal, and 
Occipital. Occipital. There we go. Okay, so I I'm experiencing errors in all four areas of my brain. That's 100% mm -hmm. malfunction right there. <laughs> um, I disagree. I'm taking the helmet back off. And then angry beeping. Um, like, please feature, reconnect. Please reconnect. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, can uh, yeah. I hear can I hear them messing with the door? Oh, almost certainly. Yeah, it's not a okay. thick door. All I'm doing is tapping on a touch screen on the outside of it. Uh, After I jiggled the handle, obviously. <laughs> Caspar, you want to give me a? Uh, how are you going about this? Are you trying to play with the hardware? Or are you playing with the software? Sorry, not Caspar. I meant Little John. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, <my> um, <laughs> I'm gonna, as always, uh, it's, it's it's safer from a security standpoint to start with the software. So I'm gonna play with the software first. Okay. If the software doesn't work, then I will play with the hardware. All right, that'll be a program roll, as you might have guessed. I was our, I was so ready. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> see if Not the door great. has weak points that I can so I can break it down in like in case we can't get it open. Uh I mean it's it's medical grade steel or plastic steel or whatever the future metal is going to be here. It has hinges but they're really heavy duty. Like you could probably take them down but you would have to shoot each hinge multiple times. Uh little John would probably have to shoot each hinge once to get it to fall off. Uh with that program roll the it's like asking for credentials or something, and you're unable to spoof credentials or get around it somehow, so it just locks you out. And <laughs> Security intrusion detected. Please wait for authorized personnel. Security has been notified. Okay, good. So we just wait then. Do I hear that? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a small enough door. Excuse me, whoever is out there, I'd really rather not wait for security. This is making me really uncomfortable. Oh, well, I don't want you to be uncomfortable. You're, like, my biggest fan. I'll get you out. Don't I worry. I mean, uh... <laughs> and then I start... Uh, we'll, go, we'll go hardware. I'll see if I can't uh, splice some wires on this thing. <laughs> yeah, give me... It's just like hot wiring a car, right? So you're, you're notified that security is showing up and you're hot wiring it? I'll just, do anything just, for my fans. Just to clarify that I understand what's going on. That's all. I feel like this vacation is supposed to be very relaxing, and I don't feel relaxed. <laughs> it was at fine, all. fine until this guy showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Everything usually is. Yeah, go go <laughs> ahead and give me a. That be fix. I guess it would be. Why fixed. is security on their way anyway? Because uh, he's not a doctor, and he's trying to get around the security <laughs> protocols in a fucking hospital. There's some, there's some small problems going on. Yeah, give me a fix roll. If I had could stop rolling ones, that'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah, that 13 earlier is really shining now. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you open it up, and if this were a normal security door, if this weren't, like, a medical quarantine door, then probably. But you start going about things and just short it out. Like, there's uh, redundancies in the hardware to make it so that if somebody's tampering with it and does it incorrectly that just shorts the entire thing out to prevent any more tampering so it is now shorted closed okay i'll put my face up right near the door and i'll say sorry biggest fan olivia you're gonna have to wait for security personnel um <sighs> It's okay, um, I can talk my way out of it, I'm famous. I still- okay, if I put the helmet back on... Mm -hmm. Is it still- does it stop beeping again? Yeah, no angry beeps, just normal okay. beeps. Just normal beeping. Alright, so like, where in the scan of my, um, very flawed brain is it? Like, does it have like a percentage, or...? Um, it's- Oh, I have to do this Your brain manually. Has been ninety-eight percent scanned. For oh, flaws. yeah. Let's see. Um, that's an excellent question. D one hundred. 
96 percent oh that was close good, good guess go. yeah um uh yeah yeah 96 percent, and it looks like it's right. only gonna take a couple more minutes but then uh i'm gonna let it just finish its scan although it is very concerning to me that my brain is 100 percent flawed at 96 percent so little john's over here with his face to the door caspar are you in this neighborhood are you keeping an eye out particularly after hearing that security's um, on its way what are you doing yeah i'll be like close by but keeping an eye on the um I, ha whatever the approach to this door is mm -hmm. um well, keeping an eye on the door into the waiting area you see oh, thank god there's like a blue security bot and it's free use hell yeah you'll see a blocky looking robot on wheels roll into the room um with <clears throat> a small but notable weapons trained on you and uh a canned robot voice come over saying please do not tamper with hotel property you got it boss i will not tamper with hotel property <laughs> and my hands are up my guns resting against the the wall near me um let's 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 see how smart this thing is probably not very uh okay it's that okay it's definitely noticed that you've continued fucking with the door after it was sent out uh multiple attempts of breaking and entering subject will be fined with a fine of 2000 credits and confined to cryo cell until the end of your stay um oh. yeah that's not really uh that's not gonna work that's not necessary i say as i pound on the door <laughs> she acted in distress i do apologize <laughs> there was no one here to talk to <clears throat> well we're just gonna just gonna go down to combat here and i'm <laughs> I'm gonna need you to roll me initiative. I do believe there's something in the character sheet to do that, right? Or we get to learn how to do that. Yeah, uh, on combat, um... you will see roll initiative in your character sheet, so you just have to click me that button. Roll initiative. I'm trying to find it. No it's worries. right under your first part of I mean, stats, like you, right under faction. You are oh, also right locked in faction. a room, so oh. it's not super relevant for you. It's more relevant okay. for, for these these poor mans. Uh, basic roller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh, we're never going to a robot world again, first of all. <laughs> I can't uh, persuade robots. Alright, well, Wu John. You see that this thing is definitely not in the talking mood and seems to be planning on subduing you. Uh, you get to go first. Uh, okay. Is it on the map? Yeah, it's this blue man up here. Do you not see okay. Mr. Blue see Man? It. I do okay. see him. Mr. Beep Boop right here. <laughs> it's about. 15 meters away from you, approximately. Free space. Uh, I, wanted, I want to be more elegant than this. Uh, okay, so I look at Caspar and I go, Hey, don't shoot it. <laughs> and I leave my gun sitting against the wall. And I move my max. I think that's here? Mm-hmm. I'm close. I'm not there yet. And I realize that I'm about to be uh, attempted to be subdued, but I'm I'm ballsy, so. Ooh. Let's check out combat, because we were talking about combat, and you looked at move action. So, when your turn comes up, you get... You can perform actions. Actions are divided into four different types. A main action, 
a move action, an on-turn action, or an instant action. You get to make one main action each round. You also get to make one move action each round. Move lets you move up to 10 meters, like you just did, but move actions are things that you can do in six seconds, such as attacking an enemy, bracing a door, applying first aid, digging out a stowed item, manipulating a complex device, or some other activity. In place of their main action, an actor can take a second move action, so you can just run up to the thing and then not do anything. Well, I want to run up to it, and my, my thought here is to... I'm going to try and find something on this thing with all of my good technological knowledge. I want to disable it non-violently. I want to hack it, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, I... I, I feel like I have to be near, like, right up at it to do that. I imagine so. so. You need to be able to touch it to give that a uh, shot. Okay, though, I will, I will go ahead and use my main action. Mm-hmm to get near it but i'll take cover behind the desk mm, okay yeah so you could then move in smart smart okay um caspar what you doing Ooh. uh he said not to shoot attract... okay i'll try to attract its attention i'm going to use my thermal pistol to shoot at one of the hinges on the door oh okay cool uh um... i'll take a step or two back yeah just before I do that Give me a shot. Are you gonna yell, "Step away from the door" or something like that? Or <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell, "Stay back!" Oh, jeez. Okay. Can and I I'm move? Yeah, you you can move back. You have time to move back. <laughs> okay, I'm running all the way to the opposite end of the room. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'm gonna fire at the the hinge. Mm-hmm. Um. That's. Uh... <laughs> That's a damn good shot. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a fist hole, fist size hole in the wall and in the door now. <laughs> and there's like molten slag laying on the hospital table. Oh, this is very terrifying. <laughs> so, who the robot gonna shoot at? Who, who the robot gonna shoot at? I mean, I just discharged a weapon. Yeah, but it's not the smartest robot either. Okay, that's let's... what I'm hoping for. <laughs> he's, he's a bumbly robot. So this little man, uh, D twenty? No, no, not just a flat D twenty. It gets a modifier to that roll. It gets this. Well, yeah, I'm in. I'm in cover. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, it gets that. You are in partial cover. Just. Copy that. Combat's on page 48. Hitting an enemy. Um, you are in half cover. Sure, yeah, you're, you're short. This has been established, so that's going to be a total of minus one. Now we'll reroll, because it gets a plus one, but then you being behind cover gets it to minus two. Ah. Okay, that's better. I was going to say, I don't know if it, I wanted to re-roll because the original missed anyway, so... Did it roll a 1? Hold on, I need to... It rolled a 1, yeah. Okay, yeah. wow. Wow, very unlikely. <laughs> um, it's hmm. really hard to shoot this beautiful face. I mean, a roll that bad, you imagine something bad has got to happen, right? I know it's not Dungeons and Dragons, there are no crit fails and crit successes, but... Come on, um... You hear the whir of like a weapon system warming up and like the uh, engage sound of like a laser rifle or something being fired and then just like smell smoke but you didn't hear the shot go off and the, the, the robot seems to be smoking. <laughs> Does it give itself a warning for smoking in the hospital? <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> Let's let's Luke, roll. you and I would get along in real life very well. I had the same joke primed. <laughs> <laughs> How many uh, hit dice does it have? Okay, it gets one hit die. So let's roll for HP for this man. How many hit die do you get? Fuck, no, it just shorts itself out and falls over. <laughs> Well, that's not what I wanted, but no, right. no, it 
it tries to shoot you, it hasn't been maintained properly, apparently, and just falls over. Smoking. Hey, smoking kills. <laughs> it does that was indeed. my next, that was what I was gonna say <laughs> as I ran up to it to disable it. Oh my gosh, he's well, I mean, better at being Cory than Cory. That's part didn't say that, so Little John still can. Well, that's what, that's why Evie said you're better being Cory than Cory is, <laughs> not better at being Little John. <laughs> There we go. Big red X. Okay. Aww. Uh, okay. So we've already... So I'm gonna walk back over here to Caspar. Uh, we've already started shooting this door down. Um, <laughs> what the hell seems, is happening out there? It seems like we've made our decisions. Are there just the two hinges? Uh, remaining, yes. It, it, when the robot oh. has been shorted out and the hole has been shot in the wall, uh, you'll get... A soft alarm start going off in the room, complete with you Wait, know a red. Hole's been shot in the wall. Uh, the wall and door where the wall connects to the door. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna look up uh, cameras. In the room. Yeah. Um, almost definitely. But this is a thousand years in the future, and with miniaturization technology, they would not be big domes on the ceiling. Well, that's why I'm looking closely. Well, give me a very good notice roll. I'll say difficulty 9 or 10. Ooh, that's damn Screw close. Screw you and your, and your 9 <laughs> or 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard to do. Uh, you know that there are cameras in here. You know that you're being watched, but you do not know from where. <clears throat> All right, so we look at Caspar. I know how to set up a room like this, and uh, we're screwed if we stay here. Where is my brain scan at as far as completion goes now? Uh, like 98%. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to shoot the next hinge. Okay. Okay, yeah, give I'm going to grab my gun. Give me <laughs> some shooting rolls and don't roll really badly. Cause is if it you like roll really me that I'm in distress? <laughs> yeah, you know, elevated heart rate. Definitely. There's... Miss, you are currently under attack. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> the nine. Uh, I've been waiting for you to fail shooting with that pistol. So this uh, totally legit thermal pistol that you bought off of a backstreet vendor <laughs> um, smokes and starts hissing. Oh. Give me... That's give me... Uh, give me a... Mm, Evasion save. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well. All right. Ain't that a shame? So, Caspar, that uh, that shot you did did eight damage. So it explodes in your hand, leaving you burned, charred, and not on fire, just severely burned. You are down uh. to two current HP out of your maximum of ten with an exploded, smoldering remains of a terrible thermal pistol in your hand. Well, I suppose you should count yourself lucky. You're in medical services already. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, you just hear an explosion from the other side of the door. Okay, I'm like hiding under the bed if that is at all possible. <laughs> so, I'm grabbing my gun. I look at him and I'm like, oh goodness, stand back. I've got this. The situation was not supposed to get this intense. <laughs> So I'll stand back, like, further than he is, and motion him behind me, and I put my plasma projector up to my shoulder. It's it's happening. I'm firing the plasma projector. <laughs> okay, let's just let's take a look at the description of plasma projector um, so I can describe how this shot goes. Go ahead and shoot for us, though. Oh, the 18's good. The 7 doesn't really matter. It's a hinge. Um, the a plasma projector. Thermal pistols and their larger two-handed plasma projector cousins replace the beam of a laser with a small sphere of magnetically charged plasma. The spheres tend to dissipate at much shorter ranges than a laser beam, but do so, but do significantly more damage to targets within range and are not affected by ambient particulates. They tend to be extremely loud in operation. So there's another explosion sound from outside, and then another 
fist size hole is in the door and molten slag is probably laying on the floor next to you I'm probably just gonna start screaming <laughs> Uh, the the automated alarm system will be shots fired, injuries detected, more security on its way. <laughs> oh, wonderful. This was a really good campaign, you guys. What do you think you're going to do for your next characters? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to peek out under the bed and see that the door is open. <laughs> the door is hanging on by, uh, hold on, hold on, D3 the bottom hinge so it's almost completely fallen off but it's still standing at like a a really rough angle okay my little helmet does it have like a wire that i'm no, like attached to a wall it's wireless um okay you mean i don't like just kick the door give me an evasion roll or evasion, evasion. save that will be okay. right next to mental effect save mental save. yes yeah. Yeah, your saves are pretty good. Holy shit, that's terrible. Okay, um, you hear a beep beep indicating, like, upload complete. Subject okay. consciousness copy complete. Subject termination process initiated. And a, oh, uh, no, I'm taking the helmet off. A dark-colored smoke starts flooding into the room. Oh, from uh, air vents. Oh, no. And you're fumbling with the door, but right now cannot quite get over it. Okay, um, Ooh. so it says subject terminated on my helmet. This is very concerning. I want out. Well, um, take it off. I did take the helmet <laughs> off. Uh, can Casper try to, um, he's going to yell, uh, get back from the door. There's smoke in here. I can't really move very far from it. Um. Stay low and get back from the door. Okay, okay. I'm gonna all be right, crawling right. on Be the ground. Before you do this, you have two turns of combat before reinforcements arrive. Just letting you know. Um, you, Caspar, have been to the security station. You know that even at a full sprint, you have about 15 seconds before anyone will get here, so you know you have more or less that much time to play with. Yeah. Uh, you can go well, ahead and shoot. I just... The door. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, that would be an attack roll using strength. Uh, let's see here. Where? So it would be a d20 roll plus your strength. So you might have to manually roll this. By that, I mean fists, uh, weapon AB, shoot, no, punch, strength, uh, boop, 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 boop. There you go. You have it he now. Does that. I'm going to step out for just a second. I'll be right back. Word. Oh, oh, fists. Yeah. Here yeah. it is. Yeah. Boom. Uh, yep. Let's see how this goes. Did that go? I'm not seeing anything yet. I didn't see it either. Hmm. Let me. Pretty sure I pushed click. it. What did I? Oh, I didn't give it a damage value. Oh, uh, it oh, does. A, it does a d6. Yeah, it didn't know what to roll. Now, uh, now you can do it. There we go. All right. Well, nice. that was a successful hit. That's not very much damage, but the door is on its last legs anyway. So you manage to uh, move the door so that it's not in her way of exiting the room. Whether whether that be punching it down or I, I don't know. Describe it for me. Um. So I think just like the. Like you see firemen doing sometimes in movies, where like I'll just put my whole body weight into a straight kick mm -hmm. at the door, mm -hmm. uh, trying to like just kick it down. Yeah, uh, it succeeds. It you know pops off the hinge and goes flying back a few feet, and okay, I'm back. the door is down. Oh, okay. Um, when the door is down, I'm running through it. Ah. Can they, like, see the smoke now? Yeah, there's, um... Oh, crimson... Uh, no. Cr yeah, sure. Crimson-colored smoke pouring into her room. From okay, vents. I'm, like, running past you guys <laughs> and getting away from the smoke. Alright, so if I'm looking at this map correctly... Uh-huh. The submarines are right by the security station. <laughs> they, they sure are, man. 
They sure are. It's almost like people wouldn't want the escape vehicles to be away from where security lives. I don't <laughs> understand, but fine. Security will be arriving in 10 seconds. Please so I'm looking wait at for security. At this point, gun, uh, plasma <laughs> projector in my hand. I'm like, uh, over my head. That's um, not a short sure joke. Trying, pretty sure they're trying to kill me. I don't really know why. Um, um, both of you through the gift shop. Okay. All right. Through the gift shop. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna go through the gift shop. These guys know what the little, little John is not in the gift shop. <laughs> little John was like beelining it for exactly where they were coming from. Uh, so we'll have you like burst through the door from this medical center that has the facade of like a hospital door, right? It's glass, it's a sliding door, and then you burst through and it's like you're inside of a mini mall. Uh, like a very small mall. There's mall music playing, there's ambient sound of like people talking and like shopping carts moving around, but you don't see either of those things in front of you is a music store that seems to have all kinds of old music formats like mobile music players discs tapes <laughs> a couple instruments zunes. actual <laughs> instruments yeah zunes excuse me what kind of instruments well the uh are you gonna take the time to look I mean, uh, you see some things that look <laughs> cursory glance yeah, in, in like half a second, maybe. Um, you see some things that look like a lute, vaguely. Uh, stuff that looks like drums, you know, some piano shaped stuff. But you'd need to get close and actually take a look to tell the difference between like a, a violin and a guitar, right? Not too close of a look, but you'd have to get closer. Yeah, yeah. All right. I just look. I'm not gonna run in or anything. You, you sure? I mean, we can we I'm... can take our time here. <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna run past that up to uh, I'll spot the the toys section. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would that be like I'm... full of small consumer electronics by any chance? It would be full of. You hold on. Just just give me a. Give me a hot minute here. It was, uh, I'm three, following Caspar because he seems four, to be the brains five. of this operation. Oh, just guys coming Ow. in here. This guy's coming in here. <laughs> this is right wounds. here. This is here. This will be back over here. Um, all of these stores seem to just have holographic displays of items in them and no physical commodities. Hmm. <clears throat> As uh, I'm running, this place is bullshit. <laughs> can I, uh, can I see these robots? Robots? Oh yeah. Coming in. Oh yeah. Um, at oh, the boy. end of end of everyone moving to here, you hear you know sliding sounds indicative of doors opening, and you start seeing very similar looking robots start popping through doors in front of you and behind you and with that we are going to uh roll some initiative but before we do that we are gonna take another five minute break because we're at the end of our second hour we'll have one hour left to conclude this but for now oh boy let's run off and get drinks and such so brb
So I I am unmuted, and now you all are unmuted. And I'm six unmuted. feet tall. No, I still have my rifle. That didn't explode. So we have. Oh, we have two. Okay. Rolled initiative. Olivia looks like she's going first, then Little John, then Caspar, and then all the robots ever. So Olivia, on your turn to review because. We've only done combat like once before and it was mostly automated. Let's go look at combat. Combat! When a actor's turn comes up in a round, they may perform actions. You get a main action, which you can use to like shoot at someone, apply first aid, dig out a stowed item, do a thing, basically. You also get a move action. A move action lets you move. <laughs> so you can move 10 feet, or 10 meters, and do something. Okay. Um, am I able to hold my action? No, no. Okay. That gets real complicated real fast because everybody okay. has a move action and a main action, so yeah. That's fair. You, um, you do have your weapon on you. You have okay. a laser rifle on you. Now, I don't know how you've kept it hidden or not drawn for so long, but you do have that. Maybe it was, like, in a personal effects section, but well, let's say you have it. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna pull it out. Am I able to ask them, can I shoot? Like, are we open weapon, open fire? <laughs> I like a gas rifle. Can we? <laughs> I think we're past that point now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shoot it, uh, this guy. Okay. Then... So just go in your character him. sheet and click the oh, roll. Okay. Shoot. There it is, maybe. Burst? Um, yes. so a burst means you shoot multiple times, it uses up more ammo, but it's much more likely to hit. Okay. Yes. Alright, nine damage. Cool. So I'm gonna have to double check what burst does real quick. So I'm not lying to you about that. So I know how much ammo this eats up, so I know how much to count off of here. Man, wouldn't it be cool if these character sheets just tracked ammo automatically? Um that's probably I was just thinking that. I just now looked at my ammo and I'm now a lot less confident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, burst, 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 I just saw burst. Burst mode, uh, you get three rounds of ammunition, but a plus two bonus to hit and damage. Oh, that's quite good. So you are down one, two, three. Ammo, let's pull up. Aspar, you shot, well, okay, the <laughs> I, thermal I pistol out of action. Anymore. <laughs> the laser rifle you haven't shot, right, Little John has shot once with his weapon keep in mind Corey, that you have about a million fucking type a power cells by that i mean six they're in your bag but those are ammo for this so it'll take an action to load those in but you have backup okay cool okay um how much hp do these dumb things have these dumb things have an arbitrary Less amount of hp <laughs> well in all likelihood, yes. Yeah, alright. This is a dead robot. This is an exploded dead robot. So let's... <laughs> take this, add a big ol' X to it, and there's an exploded robot in that door. So you take your laser rifle and, like, fire off a burst into it, and it starts smoking and burning, making sad, whining robot sounds. No. You can still move, if you would like. Otherwise... I'm just staying behind Caspar. Okay. Now I click this button, and Little John, it is your turn. <laughs> so there's one behind in this door too, yeah? Mm-hmm. Two, three, four... How big is it in uh, regards to the door? So, like, if I wanted to... Take this guy out without... Actually, can I see the one behind it? Standing right where I'm at? I think it's about your height. 
So no, Could it's it around it. Not really. It's built to. It's designed to fill up a doorway so that people can't like run past it or hop over it. All They're right. Like, what's my skill check to see if I can uh, see any kind of panel or? access to wiring that I could disable this that is with my hands instead of shooting my super loud, super big gun. So notice, I suppose, would be the roll to do, and then to actually do the thing would be a fixed roll. But yeah, notice, I would say that's a free action, just like you can look. Uh, I, you're not familiar particularly with this model. There is probably something, but you're panicked, you're in the moment, you're looking around frantically, but nothing stands out to you. Okay, so I look around it, and I try and find a way to do this without big explosions, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't see it, so I use the big explosion. <laughs> okay. Pew pew. That's my hit. Definitely. I'm the... doing, like, small damage for, mo like, huge noise. Mm. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like me. I'm not going to mulligan it, but Eevee's actually didn't hit. But whatever, that's my bad. It'll stay dead. These have a higher Oops. AC than I thought they did. Well, no, you, you're fine. It's me that should be keeping track of this. Oh, down one ammo. We all have, like, uh, less than 10 HP, so no, you're good. So do they. <laughs> yep, this one also explodes. It only had 4 HP. I'm rolling 4 HP as they get hit, so I have no more idea than you do. This has a giant, again, fist hole. This size hole uh, just going through the center of it. Alex, I'm at four ammo. I dropped my ammo myself. Oh, for the hinge. no, you had five. Oh, I dropped you for that. I had I had six to begin with. Did you? Well, okay, cool. I, yeah, I'm I'm glad you're tracking that. Not. Thank no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm glad I don't have to track that. Thank you. Just I dropped it when you were talking about it because I was thinking about it while you were talking about it and hoping you wouldn't notice. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Smart man here. Yeah, magazine is six. Huh. Yep. Okay. So are you going to make a move action? Well, you made half of a move action. You still have like five meters of movement if you would like to move more. If not, as a okay with me. All right, cool. I, I put myself where I'm going to be. All right, Caspar, you are up. Uh, so the one on the left has just, just has a hole through it and is blocking the doorway. Yep. Perfect. I'm going to use that as cover to shoot the ones behind it. Yeah, you're tall enough to see over this. Um, no problem. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to shoot at this one here. Okay, cool. Uh, with my rifle. Let's see here. Burst. Yeah, I'm going to use burst. That takes three ammo? Mm-hmm. Thank you for tracking that on your own. There's a lot going on. Okay, a 19 definitely hits. 13 damage. I can't imagine that that doesn't kill it because it only has one hit die, but I'll roll for the health anyway, just as a gesture. Yeah, yeah, it only had four health. <laughs> These are not top-of-the-line robots here. They're security contract robots. They're not a lot of people get in gunfights here. You know, there's like drunken brawls <laughs> occasionally, that. but not they a lot of people. Security after this. Yeah. Okay. So another exploded robot. You riddle it with holes with your laser rifle expertly, like you've done this before. <laughs> um, are you staying in cover here? Yes, I'm gonna crouch down behind the the Hulk that is blocking the doorway. Yeah, I, I figured. Okay. Um, yeah. next up is this little boy. So, what do we got here? How can I maneuver this? This would be about 10 meters. Right, moving here would be 7. It could only move 3 down there. That's not going to happen. This can't. All right, it's going to do something kind of weird. Let's see how this goes. Caspar, I'm going to need you to give me a physical save. Okay. Oh. All right, cool. So it's not going to be taking any penalty to this. Okay, a 10. Yeah, you... It's just going to push in here. 
Um, it just moved, what, three meters to get here? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's just going to push you along oh. with the thing in front of it. You can hear its little wheels squeaking against the clean floor. And <laughs> Olivia and little John, you just see Caspar pressed against <laughs> this. Uh, dead robot just being pushed into the toy store by another one. I'm, I'm probably it's it's like if you're wearing socks on a like a hardwood or a concrete floor. Yeah, and exactly. Like and we start hearing the Furbies in the toy section activate. <laughs> <laughs> um. So now I'm gonna roll a one of these to see if I can attack you. So that's a 10. I think your AC is much higher than that. Let me double check. My your AC is because you are wearing down here. Your clothing gives you an AC of 13. So your AC is 14. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Uh, it fires some short burst lasers at you, but they just scorch the wall behind you instead. <laughs> uh, all right, that robot's done, and this robot is going to go here, and I guess it'll have to make a strength roll just like the last one. It could fuck this up. It won't. So <laughs> now, little John, behind you, you just hear a crash into the wall as a robot slams another one into a wall and then turns to fire at you. Let's pew pew. Got a 10. That's not going to hit you either. Nope, I got a 13 also. So it is Olivia's turn. Oh, it bounces okay. off my duster that I assume is magical. <laughs> um, I trust that little John has his own... How do I move? Move. Click your go. person and drag them. There yeah, you go. got okay. it. Yep. So I'm going to turn and shoot this guy now. All right, cool. Boop, boop, boop. Oh my goodness. Um, you picked up on this software really fast. Good job. Thanks. Ooh, nice. 21, god damn. Oh. Um, Evie, are you counting down your ammo on your character yes, sheet? Yes, I can. Fuck yeah, three, I don't have to right? do it. Yep, thank you. Okay. So the cool then thing yes, about energy weapons, and you all are using energy weapons, and I convince you all to use energy weapons, is because your magazines, your ammo can recharge you just have to like plug it into a wall overnight and you'll have all your ammo back <laughs> oh. it's fucking rad if you had guns we'd have to go to the ammo store and buy more guns and it's a whole fucking thing but with these you probably have to kill the, the ammo store robot clerks yeah exactly <laughs> Um, <laughs> I noticed you, there's not an doctor. ammo store in here. No, no. Um, as it is a hotel, it would be a bit uncommon if they sold ammunition and weapons, but <laughs> weirder things have happened. Okay, this one had a decent amount of HP, but again, you did more than 10 damage, <laughs> and at your level, 10 damage is really the most you're going to run into. So that is a dead robot. Congratulations. I could, I could do 16, I'm just not. Well... Corey, it's now your turn. So, little John, here's your chance. Oh, we're gonna take the chance. You know it. <laughs> I can't be outshone by my biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> or I can't. Yeah, that three's not gonna, not gonna help very much. I think you just poke another hole in the robot you already destroyed very successfully. So it's being crushed it, into a wall. It, Load. Not dramatically. Dang. No. Duh. These things aren't packed full of explosives. They're packed full of electronics. <laughs> and not very yeah. good electronics at that. Well, and they're even worse than my electromagnetic pulse. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. It's, I have no argument. <laughs> yeah, do you, do you want to try to move, or are you content with your turn there? Um, seeing how adept these are... I'm going to glance behind me, see Olivia still at that door. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a few steps back, so I'm still in range. Uh huh. But I'm going to be covering her back. Okay. Um, Kaspar, it is your turn. The robot uh, that pushed you into the toy store seems to be subdued. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to move past it up to here, if that's... I think I can do that. Yeah, there's more than enough room to do that, yeah. 
Uh, and I'm gonna take a shot at this, uh, the one that's still up. Hell yeah! So, let's see. Um, still burst. Mm hmm. Because that seems to be the most. Uh, oh, uh, there it is. It's so dramatic waiting for this to <laughs> pop up. Yeah, 16 will definitely hit. These aren't even that tough. They're not that hard to hit. Uh, their AC, wait a minute, your AC is what, 15, 14? Their 14, AC is better than yours. Wow. Yeah, and Little John's <laughs> only 13. They should have been able to hit you at some point. I've just been rolling like trash, so good, good job. They have <laughs> as much health, if not more health, than all of you, but they haven't landed a single shot, which is statistically astounding um you did more than 10 damage so we know that this one is dead i'm gonna roll for health for it anyway you know this would have been the tankiest <laughs> robot of them all that's a shame i would have killed it too if i would have hit it <laughs> yeah you all have been rolling really great damage but see if look at all the damage you've done 13 13 10 uh cory rolled a five earlier if one of these shots hit any one of you you would also be dead <laughs> I'd be super dead, almost double dead on oh, yeah. the 13, yeah. So, it's a terrifying system when it comes to combat. But, alright, you are, uh, done? Uh, you can be scared, but I'm just letting you know that little John is super lucky. <laughs> and even if I miss, situations that I'm in go well, even if we botch them entirely. Well, you've, you've <laughs> murdered the station security robots. Um... <laughs> well, I don't know if murder is the right term. Incapacitated. So if there's no security robots, we're still good for me to play my show, right? I <laughs> somehow I... don't think I don't, I don't I don't I don't really know how to answer that. <laughs> I mean, um, ma'am, Olivia, I'm sorry. We're on first name basis now. Yeah, um, I'd say you know. You bought tickets to a show. Robot murder. I intend first name basis to bloody. give you a show. <laughs> Cute. Out of context, that sounds very. In context, that's not great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... I mean, you got to do the benefit show, right? Uh, there's. Now that we've killed all the, a lot of the security guards, uh -huh. I'm gonna cast Casper and go. We need to go check on Amelia. We're already in it, knee deep. Who's, I need to know this girl's okay. Who's Amelia? And I get oddly serious at mm -hmm. that. Oh. Um. Um, I'll say sure, but I gotta take care of this first, and I'll take out my uh, med kit and uh -huh. start treating my badly mangled hand. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, so I would like to go up to my room... If I can, like, maybe peek out the door. Oh, yeah. I want to go get the rest of my stuff. I feel like, um, an exodus is imminent. <laughs> with, with all of these, with the exception of the robots, it's exactly as it used to be. You know, it's quiet, there's hotel music playing, there's not, like, <laughs> alarms <laughs> playing, or anything like hotel that. Hotel music is very much setting me off, I feel like this is very out of place for what just happened. Yeah, uh, there's what, no, what there's no, you... uh, it's, uh, for you it would be go time music. It's very calm, yeah. uh, elevator music type stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm, yeah. I am, Ambient I'm water calm. sounds, calm. yeah. Yeah, it's... Alright, so I, I go upstairs to my room. I'm packing up all of my stuff. My vacation is now clearly over. Yeah, um, you, you get a notification. Uh, on on the wall from the the hotel, it looks like you're packing up. You're booked to be here for three more weeks. Your ship will not be left from impound for three more weeks. Are there any ships that leave earlier than that? <laughs> <laughs> the next public transport will be here in two weeks. What about? Non-public transport? <laughs> uh, 
I want to ask that? Do I get an answer you know, it, on that? It's like, I'm sorry, that information is not available. Okay, well, good to know. Thanks. Um, and I'm still going to take my stuff and go back downstairs and try and find these other two. So, Luke, the med kit is designed for handling sudden and drastic injuries. It contains all the necessary tools for providing long-term recuperative care for critically injured characters. Uh, roll 2d6 per patient treat. It doesn't actually give you HP back, is what I'm seeing here. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Is it more just for stabilizing people who are down? I think so. I'm surprised. It's, <laughs> I'm reading over it. It's on page 74 on the PDF. And there's nothing to it. So let's take a look at the healing section. I think you need to rest to heal because it's a role-playing game, and of course you do. Um, um, if so, so we'll just make camp. I can make a fire. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try it if if I can. I'm gonna try to loot the medical ward that we're right next to. Well, loot. I, I'm gonna try to see if there's anything there that can help me with my um, burn injuries. We can do that while we're looking for Amelia. Way to multitask. Yeah, I mean... If we're gonna Damage, be there... Re okay, creatures I mean... that have damaged, suffer damage, but have not been mortally injured, regain hit points equal to their hit die or character level after each night of good rest. So it's gonna take days for you to feel better. <laughs> uh, but... Olivia's up in her room. Grabbing stuff. Yes. Caspar is trying to search the medical storage, I think, and Little John said something about uh, Amelia. Sorry, I yeah, was I'll reading go, while I mean, listening. I'll go with him to medical storage as long as we're in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the door to medical storage is going to be locked, and the door to surgery and operation theater, so you'll you'll have to try and get through doors again, so yeah, give me some rolls. Yeah. You want to program? Sure, if you want to program or just shoot down this door, too. <laughs> I, I tried it the nice way first. first. It's not my fault. <laughs> we should, yeah. Yeah, okay, with That's that, better. you can spoof credentials and get the door to open. <laughs> Medical storage right. seems to be pretty standard. There's... It looks like hospital storage. There's a lot of containers with names you don't recognize, and neither of you have medical training, so there's bottles of stuff you don't know, and patches of stuff you don't recognize, and yep, doctor stuff. Um, is there anything clearly marked as like burn gel or like something for burn? Give me a notice roll. We can we can see. Can I look as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, well, actually, one of you would be assisting and one of you would be making the roll. So, Little John, roll first because you're assisting. And then, if you roll well, we can add a modifier to Casper's roll. So, that's a six. Nope, you will not be helpful. So, Caspar, roll on your own. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> a ten. Wow, Caspar's got good eyes. Uh, yeah, you find, like, some burn gel, some gauze. <laughs> Alright, can... I'll wrap it up. I'll, I'll make sure that I'm still able to actually fire my rifle. Mm -hmm. If I have to. Your, your um, hand is functional. This might leave a scar if not properly treated, but it's not gonna ruin your nerves uh, in your hand or anything. I'm gonna look for painkillers as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you find some. Definitely. Alright. So I'll I'll grab a good supply of painkillers, along you... with the burn treatment. And yeah. then it looks like this door here. I don't mm -hmm. have schematics or anything, but can I deduce that this goes toward where she went? Uh, where uh, she sorry. went to the clinical offices. She, uh, the surgery center. I mean, you could go into the surgery ward, presumably, but she was in the clinical offices the last time that you saw her in. This one okay, so once he gets his drugs, his drugs, we're gonna go. Get them uh, drugs. I'm gonna go up toward the clinical offices, whether he's following or not. I'm, I'm in hero mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna follow. 
Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is there a door? Or is no, just... there's there's definitely a door, but it's less heavy duty. It looks like it just opens. So I'll open it. Yep. Um, there is what looks to be a doctor's office on the inside. There's a table where a patient might sit. There's, you know, uh, pictures on the wall of, like, different disease awareness month stuff. Uh, but there's there's no one in here. All right. I'm going to search this room thoroughly. Yeah. For secret hatches, doors. Mm -hmm. Whatever Give me else. A notice roll. Caspar, if you're helping, go ahead and roll first so you can help yeah, out little John. I'm gonna... Please do. My notice is minus one. Not my best trait. Uh, but, uh, 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 yeah, give me just a moment here. My, my interface is not cooperating. No, you're fine. No worries. No, I'm realizing the more we do this and the more I get into it, I need another monitor. Like, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's it's really nice to have two. I, for a long time, went with just one. Wow, Caspar is not helpful yeah, at all. Yeah, not going to be. Yeah. <laughs> well, John, you're on your own. I'm, I'm probably mostly waiting. That's for not bad for a minus <laughs> one. No, it's not. That's a good roll. Uh, on, on the computer, you see uh, a file still open. Uh, the file is, the audience would recognize it, is the same sort of brain scan that Olivia was having done to her. It talks about consciousness, copying, uploading, processing, uh, MES being detected, uh, having some error codes, and then uh, subject termination processing, and subject termination complete at the bottom. So it's com it's already done. It looks like it, yeah. All right, we've been near enough that the parents had to go fucking somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to turn on a cast bar after seeing that because his notice wouldn't have him see that. <laughs> you could point it out, yeah. Hey, so I think this place murders psychics, whether they're dangerous or not. They don't try to help them. They just kill them. Yeah, I'm not come, crazy about that. Come look at this. And I'll show him, you know, mm -hmm. what's going on. Yeah, me either. Uh, Alright, I'll look over the documentation, I suppose. Um, Let's see. What is the? Uh, can I try to find out more about what the um, consciousness <laughs> upload part is? Uh, if you give me a programming role, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cool. And that's... I'm gonna help him. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would would um. Ugh. Okay. Well, good thing. Good thing you're only helping. Caspar, he's not helpful, strangely, even though he's really good at programming. Uh, yeah, I'm not <laughs> just, terribly helpful either. Uh, you get locked out of the, the you know, laptop or the screen interface. It's like, oh, unregistered access. Shutting down. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where you're at. We've watched some movies together. We've bonded a little. <laughs> I can't let this happen. We gotta, uh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Yeah, it's it's not great that they're murdering people. I'm I'm not a big fan of that. So, Olivia, are you all packed up and heading? I'm back basically down to the lobby? packing up like the necessities. So... Yeah. I mean, like, they've had time to ruffle through a storage room and dig around in a doctor's office. It's probably been a good 10, 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, so now that the computer is ultimately unhelpful in my departure, I'm going to come back down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to maybe is your... skirt around the robots. Yeah, as you're crossing through the lobby, about over here, you see... 
two parents and a kid. Uh, the audience would recognize them. You wouldn't because you weren't part of that interaction. Uh, we right. see them walking out of this staff-only section towards guest services. Okay, let me zoom out because I didn't actually see where... By this ominous staff-only area, oh, okay. they were walking out yes. of here and heading up to guest services like nothing was happening and like there weren't they burning like robots in the family. lobby. Like, they don't look like staff. No, yeah, it's a it's a kid. She has like a jeans on, a t-shirt with some band on it. Mom and dad look like they're middle management. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, I don't recognize them, so I'm, yeah. you know, going on your way. Yeah. Yeah, just going along my merry way. Um, I and... figured they would be in here because I. I'm gonna guess that Caspar is looking for medical supplies because his hand looked pretty messed up. So, sure, yeah. Um, uh, maybe Little around. John is just getting done saying, "No, I, I can't." What did you say exactly, Little John? I can't let this. I can't let this happen. Yeah, and that's the moment we're at right now. So she's okay. down the hall and can probably overhear it. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna come down this hall then. And. Oh, um, hey, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty much packed up, Get the but, fuck out uh, of here. super not good news, <laughs> um, apparently there is no public transportation out of here for two weeks. So I'm still looking at the computer screen, and I kind of, mm -hmm. like, wave behind me in that, like, dismissive kind of way, uh -huh. and I go, oh, yeah, yeah, you've got private transportation, but I'm not sure we can leave. Uh, yeah, Why? we might want to. <laughs> you almost just got murdered, and then I'll turn from the screen and look at her super dramatic. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, Are I'll you explain. telling me you're okay with that? Sorry. I mean, no, I'm not, which is why I want to leave. Like, I'll explain. Hey, something hinky is going on here. Um, I mean, they're killing you. Yes, they just tried to kill me. And me, I am the people. Before we found you, we uh we found another fan of mine who was having a bit of a fit and her parents said that she had MES. And she came into this facility and for hours into this room in fact, into this room, in fact and for hours she didn't leave. We checked out this computer and it said that the subject was terminated. And that's what they tried to do to you, yeah? Um. They scanned yeah. your brain and. Said it was just riddled with errors and they tried to basically murder me. I'm not okay with that. I would like to go. I mean, we... the way I see it. If you scan a fish's brain for tree climbing abilities, you're gonna find a bunch of errors. That's I mean, yes, yeah, so that's I true. Love that. <laughs> um, I mean, can I don't I don't really know what's going on with you know the gas chamber that I was put into, but I'm I mean I don't like I was wearing a helmet that had all of my information on it. I don't know if it's maybe still in there because you know all the robots are. So, they don't seem like the most well-made robots, which is also concerning to me. Yeah, this place is super shady. I mean, there's people walking out of like staff hallways. Like, what's even the point? You know? Wait, there's what? people. Yeah, there's a family that walked out of like a staff-only hallway. Like, no one is running this place properly. It's just robots. So people just got into the staff hallway? Apparently, I don't know. I didn't really want to check because, again, I want to Hold leave. Hold on, the, the people look a lot like robots. What did they look like? They look like people. But the there was like a mom like and a dad too. and a little girl in a shirt, a band shirt. I don't know what. I don't know. You would probably like mention the exact band. It's. I. I think I made a joke about it earlier, but I forget. Uh, is it the same? I uh, first of all, I make a mental note mm -hmm. to make band shirts for myself, 
uh, and then <laughs> very I get back important. to being non-selfish. <laughs> You, you would probably, from her description, if she gave one, put two and two together? <laughs> um, that family is the family that came in here. Well, they just came out of the staff hallway, like, right before So the girl's alive. Um, either that or... If... I look up at Caspar. Was this a trap? For us? That's entirely possible. Wait. Why is someone trapping you? <laughs> oh, I'm quite famous. <laughs> okay. So are they, like, kidnapping you because you're famous? Because that's a little psychotic. Hello? I mean, hello? Uh, I'm, I, I'm an extra-dimensional... What was it? Anomaly? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, you may not want to use that as your band name anymore. <laughs> okay, Mr. Calling me an asset for the first couple of weeks that we traveled together. <clears throat> um, Apparently, I'm valuable. Okay. Not just for my music. Cool? Uh, I don't but they really tried know to kill you, but they... That, that doesn't either. change the fact that they tried to kill you too. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm really a little bit. I mean, cool, you're famous and whatever, but I mean, they literally just tried to kill me. So. And as far as I know, she's not famous at all, Caspar. So what do you make of this? <clears throat> they're maybe they're trying to kill psychics. Well, why would they? Why would they trap us then? Why would they fake this? Because you're, uh, special? That's true, I am, but I'm not psychic. <laughs> um, Wait. should we maybe go check out what's down the staff hallway? Uh, that sounds like a good idea. Or a really I mean, terrible a, one. A I mean, good idea, but... Really, I'm know. kind of already regretting suggesting it, but... <laughs> <laughs> these, these robots like me at, like half of my musical talent they're worthless we're fine also if you haven't heard uh olivia my biggest fan i am very lucky so we'll be all right i think we you mentioned that that i was distracted by the gunshots right our gunshots killing the robots that were trying to kill you lucky and i pass her walking out toward <laughs> i'm just gonna kind of sigh and shake my head and follow him <laughs> all right where are you heading where's the staff hallway i don't even know where it is so i don't know so okay, i'm gonna, I'm gonna just use... kind of watch him walk like he knows where he's going <laughs> i'm gonna get i'm gonna get like up here ish mm -hmm. and i'm gonna turn back around and be like uh hey where's the staff hallway oh that's an astute question <laughs> and i will now brush past past him and out into the lobby. <laughs> I turn to Casper and I go, it's really the first time since I've been here that someone has acknowledged my talents correctly. And I follow. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of stand in this corner and say they came out of here. So... There's a, a long hallway full of, like, portraits of the hotel, or paintings of the hotel, and lots of other really fake-looking hotel accoutrements. And a small doorway. Besides that, nothing in the hallway. I like look behind paintings. <laughs> there is blank wall behind the paintings. <laughs> uh, we should check the door. Um. Okay. Little John, I think this is your, uh, department. Can we try not to blast the hinges <laughs> off? I always try not to blast the hinges off. Sometimes... The alarms make me anxious. <laughs> <laughs> I will try and open the door peacefully. Well, it's... It, uh, it has a handle on it. Like a normal door. It looks pretty unassuming. It looks like a... You know, a staff door at any hotel or 
restaurant that it's just the staff only sign on it is supposed to be what keeps people out but you go to turn the handle and it doesn't turn is not like not like anything? not like it's locked doesn't turn like it's a fake handle doesn't turn hey so question oh. just out of curiosity cuz you know i want to keep this idea of leaving fresh in your brains uh, so what What about this transportation out of here? Oh, we have a ship. It's called the Tourist. It's great. You'd love so it. So you can just leave whenever you want. Uh, yeah. Presumably. You you get little pings, pings on your PDFs. Your uh, PDAs. Down their entire hangar. <laughs> you, get, you get pings saying, The Traveler is on lockdown for the next two weeks. And six days. Enjoy your stay. They added six days. Well, they're here for three weeks, but... Oh. Yeah, I can fix that. <laughs> okay, don't so I don't it. suppose it would be um, too presumptuous of myself to ask if you guys are my best chance of survival, apparently, in, you know, hotel murder. Whoa, so... whoa, whoa. Olivia, Olivia, I'm going to stop you there. I owe you a show. You can travel with us until I can provide. That doesn't sound any better than it did the first time. So I'm uh, back to this door. <laughs> <laughs> the handle doesn't move, but can I, like, if I push on it, what happens? It it doesn't move. It feels very secure. Push and it, pull. It, doesn't, it doesn't feel like, you know, a normal door does when you push and pull on it. It feels like you're pushing and pulling on, like, a slab of steel. Is Caspar up here with us? Yeah. Okay. You wait ten uh, feet behind well, you. We're already um, on the cameras, so I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna shoot the door. Was there no? There was no security panel or anything. Not I. No. Nope. I asked. No. Nope. Yeah, not that not. he could see. It just looked like a normal door. <clears throat> All right. Go ahead and shoot it. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> Um, the shot hits the door, the recoil, like, hits you back into the wall, you lose your footing, if this were in combat it would put you in a very bad situation, but you're in the wall now, goddamn, um, <laughs> <laughs> just right through the wall, no, uh, the, the blast scars the door, it has burn marks on it, but, and it peels away the paint or something to reveal that it is just, like, solid plast steel or whatever behind it, but it doesn't move. And an automated voice comes on. Warning. Damage to the exterior of the building can result in catastrophic structural failure. So, leaving. Yeah, that's sounding better and better by the minute. Hey guys, oh. let's not damage the exterior of the structure. I look to Olivia and I go, Caspar has a crippling fear of water. I don't know Why? how he drinks water, but he's very afraid of it. She'll kind of, like, lean around him in the hallway so she's looking at Caspar and just be like, Why are you even here? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's not so much water as, you know, the sort of um, crushing weight of, of hundreds and hundreds of feet of ocean above us. Although you understand that still does not answer my question at all. I looked. I looked to Olivia and I go, I'm very persuasive. That's why he's here. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um. Uh, I do suppose so... maybe we should leave. I did yeah. my best. I'll mark <laughs> off being a hero of a planet on the list later. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to give Caspar his worst nightmare. I would be sad <laughs> if your ambitions didn't you know, make me cringe and think that it would kill all of us. Sometimes you'll think that. I promise it always goes fine. But it better. My luck is telling me we should leave. <laughs> Glad we're all on the same page. <laughs> yeah, we should try to get to the tourist. And then we'll see if I can't uh, shorten its stay. Um, I suppose lead the way. So, on the left side of this room, 
if we want to take a look over there, is the way in and out. That other long tube that says two docking elevator is that monorail type thing that you took in to the station. So you go all the way over there, where I am pinging it right now. You see a big glass door and through the glass door is where you did see the monorail car that you arrived here in. Right now, there's just empty track on the other side of the door. Is there any kind of control or anything that like calls the monorail? Yeah, yeah, there's a button. <laughs> well, I'm gonna push the button. Excitedly, like it, it's probably a little taller. I, I mm -hmm. jump and push the button. <laughs> you are not scheduled for departure for another two weeks and six days. We'll see about that. I'm gonna try and make this stupid AI computer overlord think that I'm scheduled to leave right now. Okay, how are you going about doing that? Uh, if I can't hack it at the console, I will try and hack it um, remotely. Okay, um, the the console is a button. Just a button in the wall, so you'll have to try to do it through your data pad. Okay, then that's what I'll do. Word. If ever. So, nice. Pretty good roll. You definitely get into the system. Uh, you get into the hotel system. Uh, you you haven't you haven't hacked into too many things yet, but you have the skills of someone who has. You know that this is uh, pretty pretty high security for just a hotel. Like really needless security operations, and it kind of seems like it's fighting you every step along the way. Oh, like, really? I haven't noticed. <laughs> like, you enter a correct password for something, and then get a few steps in with those permissions, and then find out that the password and permissions have been reset, so you have to go back and do that again. And then you keep going back and forth, so you make slow progress. Let's take a look at hacking on page 54. Hacking! Uh, do, 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 You are not shunted in. You are able to make a connection. You are hacking the system. You, if you've spent at least an hour planning this, you do not. Difficulty of this role depends on the kind of information or influence they want. Do, 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 do. If what they want is control over an automated system, which is what you want, you maintain control for 1d4 rounds plus your program still. So cool. Well, let's see about that you rolled a nine what you want to do is suppress a system you don't want to control it but you want to suppress it yeah that's fine um plus oh this is i'm, I'm holding my hook yeah you you eventually get pushed out completely not okay, because you're bad at hacking you're fine at hacking the problem is that the system seems to be self-aware and pushes you out all right it's okay we all we got a bunch of alts now. i assume in such a way that if i tried again it wouldn't matter it it was like initially trying to be kind of coy about like oh change the password up oh, change the password up oh, and then it started I doing things sure. like moving you to directories okay. you would never want it to be in and then like showing you mocking pictures of your face getting more and more frustrated and then show you pictures of you from the security cameras and then like show you a timer of how much time you had left in the hotel cool i sit down i take all that information and i start studying it yeah i mean there's there's a lot there um either a like maybe the the it person or whoever is in charge of the security is like really good and it's just fucking with you but like a 14 is like goddamn insane i rolled an 11 the plus three doesn't even matter here i'm aware yeah yeah there's some expert tier hackery going on here 
So I look at all that and the directories they sent me to that I wasn't familiar with, and mm -hmm. I'm just going to start studying it. Yeah. I don't even say anything to my comrades at this point. I just slump against the wall, take out my mobile, and I start reading. Um, there's probably, like, it sent you to the music store's articles on the inventory of instruments that they have and like that the fact that they don't have any yeah, loots in stock that. then they show like concert tickets sold for you and the numbers standing at like 60 something then it shows like uh the little roombas that clean the station being dispatched to get rid of the broken uh, security box through that description i'm gonna motion caspar and olivia over and i'm gonna show them what my mobile is doing i'm gonna be like I'm trying to look at my own files. Yeah, and it's it's just like showing that the little robots on the other side of the room are getting cleaned up. And if you look across the well, they're on the other side of the waterfall. It'd be kind of hard to do that. So, yeah, those are getting cleared up. You see like a swarm of tiny Roombas amass themselves from the rest of the hotel and start scooting these giant relatively giant compared to them robots out of the way back towards the security office but they're moving real slowly they're all coming behind all behind <laughs> um it's yeah it's funny because i can hear john playing overwatch yeah I, i'm yeah, trying to I, I couldn't tell if it was league or overwatch until now yeah <laughs> yes, yeah uh so nice. we're not just gonna get out of here guys uh we're gonna I have, have an to... idea if I had a pipe, I wish I had a pipe. Get to the bottom of this. <laughs> mm. I, I mean, this isn't exactly a three-pipe problem. It's it's a it's a multi-pipe problem. You're right. If uh, I if I have an idea, I, but I already okay. regret having it. Well, uh, those are my favorite. So. Let's They're not really my favorite, but they generally tend to be productive, and we don't... I mean, you know, just shoot. Go ahead. There's a submarine bay. Do you want to submerse yourself in the scary, horrible, crushing ocean? Oh, Even see, that's, why, so? he, that's no. why he regrets it. See? How does that get us to our ship? Well, the docking bay is, or the the ship docking is in another part. They might have external uh, entrances for the submarine. It's worth a try. I've never. I mean, um, it would make piloted. sense that they wouldn't only have just one entrance in and out. I've never piloted a submarine. I'm on board. <laughs> I stand back up. None of you have piloted excited. a submarine. Uh, yeah, your your tablet uh, flashes to submarine rentals. You know, 1,500 credits per day. This place is freaking Facebook hell. Like, I don't... I don't even want to be here anymore, and I'm fascinated by everything. Um, but yeah, it doesn't say pilot-specific vehicle. I know, so I, I know. I it. It, it used to. In the older system, it used to. But this is more forgiving, so it it would let you. Yeah, don't don't worry too much about it. You show me a spike drill, I'll get you there. So let's go to a submarine. Great. Right. We, um, I think this is a good place to end. The three of you entering the exosuit and submarine bay. On, you know, one half of the room are a bunch of look like diving suits. You know, futuristic diving suits with jump, sure, jump jets on the back and stuff like that. And then submarines, which are small, There's like... Four or five person sized submarines. They're mostly glass, like they're sixty percent glass. They have like an old school propeller engine on the back. And uh we'll we'll just have you three surveying these options for how to exit the hotel. But then we are out of time for this week, so I guess we'll have to start there next time. Unless there's anything you wanna do last minute. No, I don't think so. No, this, um, ne this next part's going to take a minute for me, so. <laughs> Can I try... Uh, maybe this is better left till next time, but I want to try to get back into the armory in the security room. Yeah, that would definitely be better. 
suited towards yeah, next time. So, yeah. So make yeah, a note of that. Time. Yeah. It's not like we can make this facility, this being that is a facility, more pissed off at us than it already is. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but. I say that all the time. <laughs> Young Miss, my greatest fan. And uh, it always works out. You yeah. also keep saying that, too. <laughs> I'm still alive, aren't I? I mean, so you're not clearly, wrong. <laughs> exactly. You're not wrong, Donnie. You're just an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I have made a note for something for me to remember to start next time off of. But I think that we're good for now. <laughs> his, his very nice was such perfect timing there. Um, right, I'm glad he's winning. This yeah. Makes me happy. <laughs> Rather than this is fucking stupid bullshit. Um, this is why we need him in the game, so he's I not know. distracting us from outside of the game. I can't get away from this game ever. <laughs> All right, well, um, we're done for tonight, so I'm gonna cut the stream and recording here. I'm gonna be streaming in like an hour until midnight tonight, so stop by for more of my bullshit. But until then, goodbye, Twitch. And goodbye, YouTube.